What's up? What's up? Welcome. I hope you like. The, I hope you like the starting screen because there's. I just want to get this off the table immediately. Um, when I was setting this up, a few like, like a week ago. I'll say a week. I'll give myself a week. I'll give myself that credit. Um, I I noticed that the background kind of loops. And I, I don't know, it's like, this was like a raw file from the game or something. No, that can't be the case. It's just, I, when I was looking up, um, like Splatoon loading screens, this was all I could find that looked like good to have looping in the back. And then I didn't realize that it doesn't loop properly until afterwards. Um, but I mean... I still think it looks really nice, personally. Just gonna give myself that little credit. Uh, but I figured I would start a little bit early to give people some time to come in and, uh, you know, admire the starting screen. <laughs> I am, pr I am pretty nervous because there's a lot that I want to cover and the, um, the way that I am presenting it might not be, and it, I can see it not being entertaining unless I present it properly. It could be, it, if I was like fucking Squidward presenting you an entire ass stream like this, it's, it's boring, you know, it's going to be boring if I'm boring. So I'm going to try my best to not be that streamer, not be fucking nasally voice ass but uh no one's really in yet so i'll give it a few we'll start obviously we'll start at 10 i do have to go to the bathroom still we will start at 10 uh maybe not on the dot maybe if anything it'll be after so you won't have to worry about it if you uh if you were only available on the dot so just uh, let, let me know what you think of the setup. Oh yeah, I, so I've also recently realized that the um, the website that I use for downloading videos or like videos downloading like the audio from videos it it says that it has a feature to cut off like the pause at the end of um like if there's a moment of silence in the audio but i've found that it actually doesn't do that i've 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 given it songs to um to give me and it's it's had a pause at the end so i don't even know what that features for if it's if it doesn't even work right but yeah i will i will be right back so just sit tight enjoy the enjoy the music i picked the best songs the m most mama mia songs that i could find so i'm hoping i'm i hope they're up to par i did see i didn't like i didn't like nasty majesty that 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 much like, I feel like if I was picking the songs for my own, you know, my own preferences, I probably wouldn't have included it. But also, after a while, I started adding just any song that sounded good, because I realized that I ended up with only, like, an hour of music now. It looks like two, about two and a half hours, so. And I put it to loop, just in case. Yeah. All right, enough talk. I'm going to be right back.
All right, I'm back to to just uh, talk a little bit here. Just a little while longer. Um, it's it's getting really fucking cold. This week it's supposed to be like 40 to 60 degrees, and it's just crazy to me because it was just ridiculously hot like a few weeks ago. Temperature, the temperature is fucking crazy, dude. The weather needs to chill. I also just watched, I just binge watched the entire new Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared series. And it was, it definitely had some really good parts. But overall, I, I definitely like the old template better, the original template. Which, I can see why that wouldn't work as a show series, you know. The way that the format works, to stretch it out would be a crime. It would just be horrible to stretch out. Uh, don't look at me, I'm scared. And in the way that it is. So I, I understand why they did what they did, but... It uh, it sacrificed some really good merits to, this, to the series. Definitely recommend checking out, checking it out if you're a fan. Though I don't know how you how you could do that right now. It might be going on a streaming service, but don't tell me I'm scared. Is a uh, it's a series that I always I've always thought was pretty cool. It's a cool idea, cool concept. So what, it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you some, uh, I'm going to be showing you like 
each Splatfest one at a time. And we're gonna, like, it's just gonna be, like, the picture of it. And we're gonna discuss it. We're gonna talk about, um... I'll at least have a lot to say. If nobody if nobody wants to talk, that's fine. But I'll, I'll be able to have some input on my... It's basically... In a nutshell, it's gonna be like that, uh, that quiz. That was on that one website. Where I picked, like, between the two things. But it, it's gonna be with Splatfests instead. And it's gonna have Splat... Splat... Splatoon... Splatoon music. We have some Splatoon music in here. I was... I thought this was... I say always, but I only heard it, like, when I was... When I was picking the music, but this song has, a, like, a strange energy to it. It's, like, ambient and a little eerie. Alright, so as I was saying, I have, um, like, the picture, but I also have the wiki open, just so we can discuss this things, these things further. Welcome. Hello, hello, welcome. What's going on, Popper? I forget, you said you you don't really know much about Splatoon, right? Right? I feel like this that'll make this even more unbiased. Like picking because I know I remember there being a lot of memes. I wasn't really in the community, but I from the outside looking in, I saw a ton of, of memes about, um, you know, which sides everyone was picking, so I wonder if that swayed them. A hurricane happened. When did it, like, just happen? Did it, did it rip any trees out of the ground? Is, is all well? Are you guys okay? Her Sunday? Like next Sunday? Did you say- Wait, last Sunday or this coming Sunday? That's confusing. Alright. Alright, we here. We out here. 
No power still. Damn. Are you watching this from your phone then? Last Sunday. Okay. I was like, are you predicting the future right now? So you're on your phone watching this right now? Damn. Well, uh... <laughs> what do you think about, um, cats and dogs? This is, our fr this is the first one. Our first Splatfest. Now these have, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I guess you probably didn't watch my, my previous streams where I discussed it or like on my Discord, but I uh, mentioned it a little bit. I just like the, the concept of having two things versus each other and either like having like a, like kind of like a death battle type of thing. I don't like death battle though. I like the concept though of pinning two things against each other and either um, deciding the winner based on like facts on them or on popularity. In this case, it's popularity. Um, it wasn't enough to pull me into the series really, but it's enough for me to do this stream. So here we are talking about dogs versus cats. Let's see how divided this one was. So the dogs had the popularity. Um, and the wins by just 1% were towards cats. But this... Also, I wanted to mention, like, um, which of the sisters, you know? I guess Callie liked cats and Marie liked dogs. I don't know. Someone's going to have to explain those two characters to me because from the art that I've been seeing of them, they seem very different from what I th thought that they were. I thought that one was like an outgoing one and then one was a shy one. Like dogs and cats equally. That's fair. I'm I'm usually impartial like that as well. But I'd for this one I'd say dogs. And this is because of like pers my personal experience with cats is we've had tons of cats in the family, but they're always either hiding or when they do hang out with you, like the ones that do spend time with us, we're just insane. They like scratch the fuck out of people or like, for example, the, the last cat that actually was um, social with me, she slept at the end of my bed, like um, towards my, like on my feet. And in the middle of the night, for no apparent reason, she would like, um, like hiss and like meow angrily at the other cat that we had. So I, I had to kick her out of my room because of that. They're both equally assholes. I don't know. Dogs are hardly... I don't... I think mostly small dogs are, are assholes. There's just a thing about animals that are small. They just have a problem with everybody. It's like they're trying to compensate for, for being like so easy to, to, to like crush. <laughs> that's, what the, that's how they protect themselves by being so fucking angry all the time. There's no, like, trivia on this one. I'm sure if it's, there was trivia, it would just be like, this is the first, uh, Splatfest. Alright. So, the second one is... You might not be able to just tell it from this image. It's kind of a little a little rough. The old pictures were kind of rough. And they did, they did seem to get better. Some of the later on ones kind of were still pretty bad, but overall they got better. Um, so this one, roller coasters versus water slides and <laughs> the jizz slide. Oh yeah. The jizz slide. There it is. There's like little ghosts on them. <laughs> the milk slide. Who wants to go down the milk slide? No, but person personally, I would. I would say roller coasters for me. And this one was actually scarily close. This one was closer than I would have thought. Or I I mean I guess it's leaning more than I would have I I 
would expect more people to like roller coasters because you know you go around you're like you're dry i don't know you could use a you could use a roller coaster to dry off after going on a water slide to me that makes it better but i don't know but i guess 54 percent preferred water slides and um 53 percent is how much roller coasters won in the actual matches and they won overall because of that okay so the score method is this makes sense this makes more sense votes like the popularity votes plus wins times two which makes sense that is indeed a milk slide that is 100 percent a milk slide which do you like better, uh, Red Lad? Do you do you like do you like uh, milk slides or do you like roller coasters better? I'll I'll definitely show you the art from when they do the like the promotional art with the like the teams. Um, for that one. On this other page Cali liked okay so he, I think this is the format the first one that I that I um, say is the one that Cali prefers and the second one is the one that Marie prefers just so I don't have to say it every single time because I'm gonna for, I'm gonna forget that um, roller coaster more like derail the fucking ride you don't like roller coasters yeah, I guess milk slide is a little better for the bones. All right, so here is this one. Um, and if you're wondering how I compiled these, it was a pain. There was probably a way easier way to. <laughs> I probably chose the hardest possible way to do this. But I went through the whole wiki page and I grabbed every single, um, like, I, I copied and pasted every single thing on it. And then I... For the duplicates from each uh, region, I deleted those ones, and then I kept the... So we're going to be discussing some, like, Europe, European exclusive ones and some Japanese exclusive ones. And they're... Don't be too mad if they're duplicates, because I did this in a very, like, stupid way. There's, there's definitely an easier way to have done this. Um... So you'd rather, so this one is not just like eating them. If it's not obvious, this is about roasting them over an open fire. You'd rather roast a hot dog over an open fire than a marshmallow. This one is pretty damn close too. I think marsh marshmallows just won it because of popularity. And uh, that's by 64%. This would have been a cute, this would have been a cute one to make art of Callie and Marie on. Am I wrong? Like, just have them roasting their things over the same fire. That's cute. I don't think they even thought about that until later on, though. I mean, this, yeah, no. Back then, all they did was they had the pictures of the, of the like, they just have pictures of the characters. <laughs> so I think they were just talking about them, and they took pictures of them talking about them. And posted them on here. Here, I guess I'll show you the the marshmallow versus hot dog Cali picture. Um, it's so bad. It's so bad. Hold on. That's what they have. That's what they have for uh, popularity is wrong. You guys both agree on hot dogs? You guys both agree on roasts? I've never roasted a... I've never roasted a hot dog over an open fire. That just sounds kind of gross to me. It might be because I've eaten so many hot dogs in the past few weeks, but I think what makes marshmallows particularly special is the fact that I don't like them unless they're roasted. I guess I don't like hot dogs if they're raw either, but... I'm hoping you know what I mean. I mean, you could cook... 
a hot dog any other way and it would be pretty good. But I think that marshmallows are just special because ew, they're gross when they're when they're not cooked and then you cook them and they're good. And I didn't know that this was a popular take either. Not liking, uh, well, it might not be popular because I'm pretty sure where I heard someone else agree with that is, is Link from Good Mythical Morning. And he just has weird takes sometimes. You ever see a marshmallow eating contest? No, but they don't roast, they don't roast the hot dogs over an open fire before feeding them to their uh, competitors. Cold Glizzy goes so hard. You know what? You know what? That's... <laughs> That's not wrong. Last week, I actually, I actually had some cold Glizzies. But I had boiled them. The, it was leftovers. From having boiled, like, a whole thing of them. So yeah, I guess Glizzy wins the the cold competition. <laughs> That's crazy to me that marshmallows won popularity by that much. Considering both of you, both of you could have have like defended the the hot dog side. You could have stood for the hot dog side and and won by more than fifty two percent, and and won popularity maybe. If you just brought your all your friends to, to represent hot dogs, you could have won this. But no, unfortunately, Marshmallows won it. Makes it slurpable? What the fuck are you talking about? A cold, a cold slurpable glizzy is the way to go. So this, all right, this is interesting. This is, I guess, the first... Um, Don't take my word for it. The Japan, the Japan one crossover might have been the first one. I don't know what they did. Yeah, no, there, there's, there's is definitely the first crossover type of one. Um, but this is the first American question mark North America, the first American um, crossover one. And honestly. <laughs> I know very little about Splatoon, but I probably know even less about Transformers, despite my brother being a fan my whole life. And I mean, I always thought they were kind of neat, but I've never been enough of a fan to actually like, you know, like the, like leap into the franchise and learn everything about it. So the Decepticons won this one. The, Decept the Decepticons won. And this one was pretty close, too. Decepticons are too cool to lose. Don't they always lose to the... To the Autobots? Isn't that kind of their thing? What was... There was no, like, prompt question. I don't know if they've... I think they just do the prompt question when they feel like it, honestly. Decepticons are better. Cooler name. You know what? You're right. You're right. They just have the, they have the same name, but there's just a cooler synonym to it. Better design. They do have cool design. You know what? I'll, I'll agree with you guys here. Decepticons are pretty cool. Based on what I know. But, um... Autobots won popularity by 58%, which is kind of substantial considering the close ones that we've encountered so far we've gotten like 52 percent but 58 and they won uh decepticons won by 56 percent in the like actual matches i wonder what uh i wonder what pushed marie to to join the decepticons does she know what that entails does she know what that implies See if there's a fun fact about this one. A few days before the Autobots vs. Decepticons Splatfest, during normal battles, the colors were locked to those of the Splatfest. Pink and dark bl purple. I almost said blue. Colors that are usually not available. So that was like a glitch, probably. Why would they have a glitch like that, though? That seems like... I wonder if that was like a... Like a little teaser. 
Because it's not like this is their first Splatfest. You know what I mean? They've done Splatfests before this. I'm curious, maybe we'll look at the Marshmallow one, see if it has any trivia. Text for a scrapped Japanese Splatfest, Western Japan versus Eastern Japan, was included with the data for this Splatfest. This also happened with the previous Splatfest, Roller Coasters versus Water. Okay. That's not as interesting, I don't think, as the, the other one. All right, let's pop into this next one. Art versus science. This is literally just like a school one. This is a school one. What is that purple con- or that purple, that orange concoction? Why do I confu- why do I confuse the words purple and orange? Can anyone explain that to me? Is it because they're both mixtures of, of common colors that I know? They're like the... Are they like opposite colors on the on the color wheel? One second. So this is the color wheel. What is the vote? I'll, 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 I'll say it again after, but I, I'm just looking to see why I confuse orange and purple. Just the names of them, not the actual colors. Um, is that... Is that purple or... No. Blue. Blue is across from orange on the color wheel. Purple isn't even a color on the color wheel. Violet. Violet is what purple is called. I can't look at this for long. I can't look at this. This is gonna melt my brain. I don't <laughs> I don't understand colors. I don't understand. Okay, this so number five. At least according to my numbering system is art versus science and this one is really bizarre in terms of like the the win win rate art versus i think this one's tough for me because i never really cared that much about school but i feel like nowadays let's call what i'm doing right now art I think I'm more of an art fan. I think I'd feel better representing the art side, but I, I don't hate science. I understand why we have science, but I think I would like art a little better. In the Spanish dialogue, Callie mentions that she likes to draw dinosaurs. Her appreciation of dinosaurs would be brought up again in past versus future. That's a little foreshadowing for you guys. Where she expresses a desire to ride one in at least English and Spanish. That is so, so wholesome and cute. She likes to draw dinosaurs. Science is boring as fuck. Okay, so. So art won by 51% in popularity and 51% in wins. Isn't that crazy? That. Talk about consistency. The art team, art team was on it. Art team was so on it. All right, let's look at the next one then. Um, God, that's so cool. Hey, fuck you, science. Cars versus planes. In terms of what? I'd rather, okay. The full name of each choice was, I'd rather travel by car. And I'd rather travel by plane. But what is the full question? You can't just ask somebody this. Obviously, if I'm going to, like, the store that's right down the block, I'm gonna want to take a car, but if I'm going... Let's assume... Let's just assume that we're going the same distance. And that distance is, like, a state away. No, 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 no. That's not far enough for a plane. How far would you... Um, 
How far would you take a plane? Like four states away? Three states away? One state? That would be ridiculous taking a plane one state away. I'm thinking really fucking hard about this, because... What, what do they talk about in this one? Travelers, start your engines. Or your propellers. It's a battle between ground-bound vehicles, cars, and their high-flying counterparts, airplanes. Uh, planes all the way. So I guess let's assume that they're they're both going like three states away. Would you rather sit in a car for hours or go in a plane for like 40 minutes? My island has so many fucked up roads. I would have chose plane. I think, yeah, I think this is really more of, do you get sick on planes or not? And for me, I don't mind taking a plane anywhere. Well, that sounds dumb. Depends on which three states it is. Three states that are a moderate distance from each other that would take like a three hours by car. No, 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 it has to be, it's like five hours by car and one hour by plane. I don't... I don't know how to calculate this. My the gears in my brain are just. Does that make Does that make sense? Five hours by car and one hour by plane. Is that so crazy? Wait. Wait a fucking minute. Cars versus planes was the first Splatfest in Splatoon. We're raising the battle multiplier to f times four made a difference in the outcome so they instead of the instead of the wins being times two it was times four this time that makes the voting feel a lot less cool i think did they just did they stick with that for the rest of them i gotta duplicate this tab again Well, I'll just, let me check, like, a way later one. No, oh, this is gonna be a problem. I only have the original Splatfest ones open, but that's fine for now. Holy sh... Okay, then they, uh, they ended up raising them by six times for the wins. So what's the point of even voting at that point? I wonder if it makes more sense when you're actually playing it. It probably does. It probably feels better when you're playing it. But, uh, po so popularity was won by planes for some reason. I guess because, yeah, they're assuming the same thing that I'm assuming. Um, and then wins was won by cars, which made them end up winning. Even though it was by 50, uh, 54%, they won the whole thing because of that. That's crazy to me. What's up? What's up, indeed? That multiplier just blew my mind, though. Holy shit. Times four, and then it times six. Alright, pirates versus ninjas. Um, I'm gonna be real with you, it's ninjas for me, because I think that pirates just steal shit. Do they just steal things from the rich, though? Oh, you just got the game today? That's awesome. Oh yeah, you said you said you were having fun with it in the um, server. It's a dick thing. Ninja are cool, but I'd rather be a pirate. I think so. Yeah, ninja seems like a lot of pressure. Here's the thing. Ninjas seem like they have to know a lot of things about combat. And meanwhile, pirates have to learn about their ship, and they can just be, like, sneaky thieves and not have to worry about it. So, I think... Pirate Batirer? You really think Pirate Batirer? Pirates are pretty indiscriminate with who they steal from general. See, that's why I don't like pirates. That's why I pref That's why I think that ninjas are better. I've never seen a pirate do a backflip. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. 
pirates didn't wait in in like the one of the Peter Pan films. Didn't he do? He's not the pirate though, right? I swear I've seen like a backflip on a pirate ship, but it's usually from the cool person fucking the pirates up, right? But okay, let's see. Holy cow! Okay, this is kind of perfect after that last one. Oh, this is when they change it to time six. That's amazing. <laughs> That's fucked up. I'm kind of mad about this one. So popularity. Popularity was 72% in favor of ninjas. All right. You with me here? And pirates won by 59%. So guess what the what the math makes uh, the winner there. We got a pirates won that by getting fifty nine percent win. Is that not messed up? Am I the only one who has a problem with that? And this is it looks like this is the first Splatfest that they used uh, the six times multiplier for. Pirates use guns and swords, so I guess that's kind of cool a little bit. Old pirate and modern? What is a modern pirate considered? Like, someone who plays old Nintendo games? Pirates will rip out your intestines and then fuck your wife. Ninja will just poison you and then fuck your wife. Why do they all do that? Why is this a common theme in these, in these warriors? Okay, so, um... Don't worry about the question. I love questions. This, I've compiled a list of just like every Splatfest I could find, all of them from every game. Um, and I I got rid of the, the duplicates. So we're looking at every single one from every region without like the extra, you know, fat of, you know, oh, this picture's a little different. They use it in a little different picture. So we're not going to be seeing like the different. Let's see if they, speaking of pictures. I might have found something. Oh, uh, you know what? This is some good context to have. This is some pretty good context to have here. You know, I gotta... I gotta find a way to make this, like, bigger for me. That's not exactly what I wanted, but that's fine. Um, It was a Halloween thing. So I guess we're we're talking about costume wise, but you know what we already decided. I guess the ninja is a cooler costume. More popular costume, but pirates are more fierce in battle. According to the Splatfest results. Um What's next? Burgers versus pizza. Burgers versus pizza. Um, burgers versus pizza. Okay, I I cannot I cannot have any input on this one because I've said this before. Pizza makes me sick because I ate it all the time in like middle school. So it it's just it tastes it look it doesn't taste bad to me, but when I think about it, I think of like that vomity taste that it would start to have after eating it every single day. Um, so I'll let you guys, what do you guys think? Burger? We got two votes for sandwich. We got one pizza, bruh. Um, we got a picture, we don't even have a picture of one of our fictional characters eating a burger. Pizza time. <laughs> pizza time. When my family gets pizza, I just get wings or maybe a calzone. Okay. Yeah, no, every time we talk about... Well, not not recently. We've, like, worked our way over this. But for a while, every time we were like, let's get pizza. My sister just would get, like, a calzone or a grinder. So I was like, well, now I want a calzone or a grinder. The whole part of having a pizza is that we're all eating it together. You know, that's it's like a, it's like a party. So if you're eating something different, it doesn't feel as special, but...
There's this place in New York that makes some godly pizza. Oh, I imagine there are several places in New York that make some really good pizza. Um, I'm pretty sure the pizza in, like, Connecticut was really good. I was watching another streamer, who I guess is from Connecticut, and it, he was talking about, um, about how good the pizza is there. Attack of the Geo. That's who it is. Um, but I, it might have to do with the fact that it's right near New York. New York pizza is the kind with the thin crust, right? Is it? I think so. There's so many different kinds of pizza. <laughs> New Haven pizza is generally praised. Foldable big thin. Oh yeah, there's... I guess I got an ad earlier for like ch Chicago, what is it? Chicago, I think, which has sauce over the cheese, which could be good. But uh, popularity was won by pizza. I can see that. Pizza's very, like everyone loves pizza. Everyone likes pe some pizza. And then the wins was burgers by 56%. So I ended up winning it. I wanna, I'm waiting for the one where like, one wins popularity by like 90% and then the other one wins the matches by 51% and then they end up winning and I'm going to be so mad. All right, what's what's next? Naughty versus nice. Naughty versus nice. So, uh, this was obviously in case you, in case you couldn't tell by looking at it or hearing the name of it. This was a holiday one. When did this happen? It was announced on December 11th. And the results were given on the 20th. Tongue or no tongue? <laughs> is that a is that a threat? Tongue or no tongue? Um, so let's start with this. Obviously, Naughty won because it's fucking cool. Uh, do we have we have no art of the sisters yet, just weird pictures of them standing, which I will show to you in a moment. Here, I put way too many fucking pictures on here. I'm, I'm surprised it's not lagging or anything. Yeah, this is the this is our naughty representative. Look at how naughty she looks. She's so like little. Why is she? So, why did people take this tiny like cell phone picture? It's like an old cell phone picture. That's clearly a nice one. No, because Marie is the second one. Wait. Not even. Oh shit! You're right. That is the nice one. I still don't understand. Do you know their dynamic? What is their dynamic? Is Marie like the shy one? Please explain this to me. Why did I forget that Naughty was first? Okay, so f popularity was 59% for nice. Bunch of freaking losers voted for that. And they couldn't back it up by winning. So 59% um, won Naughty. And then it's in Naughty's favor. Callie's the silly one. And Marie's the straight man. Okay. That makes a lot of sense, actually. That makes That makes it better. Just from looking at pictures of them, I just, I thought that one was outgoing and one was uh, shy, but I guess I I had the wrong uh, dynamic, the wrong cliche. All right, past versus future. We actually foreshadowed this one earlier. Um, I'd rather visit, okay, so I'd rather visit the past or I'd rather visit the future. I think for me, personally, I'd probably say the future just to, you know, 
see what GTA game we're on at that point, you know? I don't know if there's, like, a... F but it's a picture of, like, a weird super future city, so I imagine this is, like, 2080 at least, you know? Um, so hopefully GTA 6 will have been out by then. You say the past. I think the... I think you picked future. When was the... What was the first Splatfest you attended, uh, Zen? <laughs> Visit the past and wipe out all life with diseases they've never seen. Visit the future and die from a disease you've never seen. So it's a lose lose. Well, what if you go in like a hazmat suit? How about that? It's just, do you want to see dinosaurs or do you want to see cool technology? Let's call it that. I'd, I would, I don't really care that much about history. I know a lot of people are super passionate about history, but I don't, I don't know what I would do in the past. I guess I don't know enough about the past. Is there something super cool that needs to be seen in the past? Maybe Atlantis or something? Something that doesn't exist anymore? Maybe a dodo? I could see a dodo. Go back and punch the fish who grew legs. Oh, you started with the Autobots and Decepticon one? Or the art one? You could look at a dinosaur and then die. Yeah, I don't think a hazmat suit will stop a dinosaur from eating you. So it seems like... It seems like future is the safest option. Even if it's post-apocalyptic, look at how cool that looks. So popularity was 61% in favor of future. And the wins was 55% the other way, so... Past one, I guess. Because, I mean, I don't know, a lot of the player base of this game might have been children. And you know how kids like their dinosaurs. It's just a fact of life. Kids like dinosaurs. Alright. I mean, dinosaurs are fucking cool. Don't get me wrong. So this looks to be our second American, uh, like, crossover type deal. Marie was just- That's exactly the type of info that I want from you. I want to know, like, what pushed people in favor of certain sides in this. And that makes sense. I think I remember people liking either which one. But Marie was more popular in general. Who has Vulpix, though? So I... What game does Red have um, to make up for not having Vulpix? I never... I still have to play both of these. I played Fire Red. No, no. I played Leaf Green. They have Growlithe instead of Vulpix. Okay. I can't believe they made it so drastic as six six times. Also, just real quick, I'm gonna look. I don't think there was a picture in Past and Future. Nope. But this seems to be the first, like, um, Cali versus Marie. Oh shit, it's tiny. Oops. One second. This seems to be the first, like, Callian versus Marie, um, art that they did that is related to, you know, directly to them interacting with their choices, which is cool. It's cool. Look, there. actually says Pokemon. They got their little link cables. It's, it's nice. Yeah, look for the version exclusives. That's really all that... Really all that's ever been the difference. I, I like that in, um, in like Hoenn, 
at least they tried to make it sort of different by giving you different teams to uh you know to to be up against but they should do more stuff like that like sun and moon making it night and day but they should make it actual stuff that affects the story like maybe give you half of the story in one game and then the other half in the other game i don't know if the new games have already said they're doing that don't tell me though because i don't want spoilers these squids are fucking gamers yeah did they just find so this is like a post-apocalyptic uh or like i guess they're bringing back civilization or whatever how they just grab the game boys out of like dirt somewhere and clean them out Red's got Ekans, Oddish, Mankey, Growlithe, Scyther, and Electabuzz. Okay. Let's see what the, the f trivia is. Pokemon Red versus Pokemon Blue had the biggest point difference of any North American Splatfest in Splatoon 1. With a difference of 98 points. The Japanese counterpart, red versus green, also had the biggest point difference of any Splatfest in Splatoon 1, with 146 point difference. It also had the highest win rate of 64%. Okay, so red has Ekans, Oddish, Mankey, Growlithe, Scyther, and Electabuzz, and blue has Sandshrew, Vulpix, Meowth, Bellsprout, Magmar, and pincer um hmm. so i think for me for my money i would probably like i'd probably vote for blue but um red won by 64 percent in popularity and blue ended up winning with 57 percent in actual wins Pokemon fire it. <laughs> See, that's what I said. That's what I'm saying. Actually, hold on. I thought I had the video of it. I, I thought that when I first put that on my stream too, I thought that I had the video of it, but I just have that gif of it. And it curses me because it's not, it's not as funny just looking at him. Breaking Charizard is more popular. Yeah, that's basically what it is, isn't it? Okay, so uh, Snowman versus Sandcastle. I'd rather build a snowman or I'd rather build a sand castle. I would probably vote. Um... Oh, that's that's upsetting. I'm gonna stop complaining about the way that they did the votes versus wins, but... It's just, this one, it really shows. Um, wait, the Snowman vs. Sandcastle Splatfest was the only Splatfest announced in-game before social media. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that wild? Don't, all right, don't make Frozen references, bro. Sand. I'd, I will, I would pick Snowman though, because sand just gets in places where it doesn't need to be. I don't even really like the beach that much. I don't like cold mother, cold mother too much. <laughs> That's a thing now, cold mother. But I, I do appreciate that snow melts and sand doesn't melt. I'm explaining this to an alien. <laughs> Snow melts if you're not in cold weather anymore. And sand doesn't. No matter what weather, sand is always there. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> How does one melt and one doesn't? It's coarse and rough and, and irritating and it gets everywhere. Exactly. So we're building a snowman, but 
So we won popularity by 53%. And we lost the actual fights by 52%. And that's enough to make Sandcastle the winner. I'm deleting my everything after after learning this information. What's next? What are we looking at next? Ooh, this was a big one. This is... I didn't really know about the Autobots versus Decepticons, or... I don't even think I really knew about the Pokemon one, but I knew about this one when it came out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> SpongeBob versus Patrick. Um... I'd, I mean, I'd probably just vote Spongebob. Patrick's funny and all, but Spongebob uh, can has more has more abilities, you know? He'd win in a fight. Spongebobby. The event theme was based on the television series. Oh, okay. I thought theme... I thought theme meant... Like this, like the song that played when you were playing. I was like, "What? I didn't know about this. I didn't know about this." You got Squidward. All right, all right. That's reasonable. I never seen a Patrick popsicle. Yeah, he's he's an ice cream cone. Remember? He's an ice cream cone. Actually, it was like a cup. He called it a cone, I think, but it was a cup. During the in the announcement in game, Callie references the popular's mayonnaise and instrument meme. During the results, Callie references SpongeBob saying, "I'm ready." I'm ready. They also reference the the intro. They say, "Are you ready, kids?" Oh shit! It's kind of because. Marie starts singing pa for Patrick instead of Spongebob, so that's kind of neat. Um, so the popularity was 57% for Spongebob, and 55% uh, um, for Patrick in like w actual wins. So clearly that means that Patrick wins. I like this one. Fancy Party. This is also kind of like a cross-promotion thing. Like a crossover thing. Um, and I'm glad they put this here because I would not have remembered the name of it. But in Europe, this is called Black Tie Event versus Fancy Dress Party. Wait, why is it called that? Fancy Dress Party. What the fuck is a black tie event? I guess I just don't understand uh, Europeans. But it's called the f f for Americans. It's called fancy party versus costume party. Um, so this was Me Tomo, uh, the the app that lasted like two months. But I guess it lasted long enough to do a Splatfest out of. Um, they didn't have them. Dress up as SpongeBob and Patrick, did they? No, didn't think so. Okay. But they do have art, and annoyingly, it is two separate pictures instead of one, but we can take a look at that. Poor Mitomo. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I should have, I should have given it a try. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't. So this is, um, this is Callie's fancy dress. But if she's supposed to be the goofy one, why didn't she pick the costume? You know what I mean? Why wouldn't she, wouldn't it make more sense for her to have a costume? And then let's see the costume. All right. What animal is that? 
it like a panda? Is it like a raccoon? Kelly's goofiness was a localization quirk. Okay, then what were, what were their original? She's very bland in Japanese. What were the what was their dynamic then? That's you. <laughs> what was their actual dynamic in the original? Is it I'll be honest, I mean it's cute art, but it's kind of a boring one in my opinion. Yeah, see, that's why it made sense to me, being the bo Boke and Sukomi uh, duo. Well, that's the, the Goofy one and the Straight Man. So if that was the original, then then she would have been go maybe not as Goofy, but... Because that's another, that's a Splatfest. So it, that's why it clicked in my brain, like, oh, it makes sense that they'd be that dynamic then. Um... Fancy Party 1. Fancy Party 1. I can't tell you which one I would choose. I would... I mean, costumes are cool. Fancy dress is neat. But I think, overall, a costume party would be more fun. Because I feel like at a fancy dress party... Um, or a fancy party... You're, you're gonna feel like you have to be all proper and formal... So that takes some of the enjoyment out of it. It's enjoy it's enjoyable in a different way, I guess. Just have a sophisticated day. Um, but it won 52% popularity and 51% wins. So I'll, I'll give him that one. That's that's a pro that's a proper win. All right, what's our next one? And does it have art? Or Callie and Marie. I think you could. You think you confused Callie with one of the off the hook. Oh, okay. So early bird versus night owl. It's this one's an instant uh, vote for me. Night owl. And it sucks because I'm trying to wake up earlier and not be as much of a night owl. Night Owl was the most popular team in North America and the world to win a Splatfest. So that there it is. And I don't think I have to ask you guys. I mean, we're all gamers here. It's obviously Night Owl. 71% popularity. That's because we're fucking gamers here. 51% wins. Um... We might, you know what, we might have to work on our gaming, but at least we are gamers. Uh, casual gamers are a thing too. There. There's your explanation. <laughs> There's your reasoning. So we've, we've kind of been building this up by talking about this, this next one. And it wasn't on purpose. Which, hold on, which song is this? Okay, this is off the hook. This isn't, okay. I would I would have been like, oh shit, this is like perfect, but it's not. It's, okay, I don't know which, what is my answer to this one? Cali versus Marie. Cali versus Marie. Is there art for this? There's no art. There's like nothing for this one. Oh, hold up. Hold up. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It was just down more for some reason. Various tie-ins and promotional events were held around the world to coincide with this very Splatfest. The Callie and Marie Amiibo figures were released on July 7th, 2016 in Japan. And the following day everywhere else. And this took place on June 30th, 2016. 
So this was just a big promotion for this Amiibos, wasn't it? An event course uh, was added on Super Mario Maker titled Squid Sisters vs. Bloopers. Oh man, I miss the original Mario Maker. That shit was cool. That shit was really cool, because it had all of these characters. I can't believe they dropped the mystery the mystery mushroom in um in the second game. Oh you're at your grandma's house that that weekend? That they did this one? Um Did it have slopes though? No, but you could play as Professor E. Gad, couldn't you? I think that was a thing. Right? Did I just make that shit up? Professor E. Gad. Um, S Super Mario Maker. You could! Oh my god. That game was insane. So they did a shit ton for this. Wow. They tried to make a huge event out of this. Alright, so we got... Wow, okay. They got- they made some pretty crazy art for this. We got the Cali art. Just all sorts of references to, uh... To previous Splatfests on, um... Her bag there. And then she has- I don't remember what brand that is. But she has like an actual brand backpack, but with a squid- a little squid face on it instead. So that's pretty cool. And then for Marie, we have, um, oh my god, wow, okay. She has a little Patrick, uh, a little Patrick keychain, sorry. Look at that. And what is that thing next to the little bamboo shoot? What the fuck is that? I don't know if I want to know exactly what that is. Are you allowed to have that outside of your bag? Is that a st what is th is that a sticker? I guess it's really none of my business what she keeps on her bag. That's I I love seeing art like that. It's cool. Um, there is. What so this was the last Splatfest? of the game, and I think. And so I'm pretty sure they made it very clear when they were doing it. They are like, this is gonna be the last one, but don't be sad. I don't know if they announced the second one by this point, but, but uh, it was huge. It was a huge thing. I'll, I, do I have to decide? Is this a big thing? Do I have to decide one? They promoted the fuck out of this. Do I have to, like, is... <laughs> is it my, uh, responsibility as a streamer right now? As a content creator to have an opinion on this, on this, uh, matchup? You built it up and everything. Legally, I must. Um... Okay. I think Marie's design is cooler. But I have nothing against Kelly. But I'll say Marie, because her design is a little cooler, in my opinion. <laughs> so yeah, team team Marie, let's go. And she did win by 54% in popularity. And 51% in 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 like wins. So that was a that was a fair one. I said that as if the other ones aren't fair. But we're not- I don't think we're done with the first game yet. Because we got the European ones. These are ones that you guys have never attended. Haha. -ha. Bet you didn't- I- you probably did know about this. I think I probably- I- 
Did I know about some of these? I might have. I don't know. This is interesting because they did cats versus dogs, like, later on. Alright, so this one, they did, cats versus dogs was one for America, but they did it, like, six. This one, sorry. <laughs> this one is rock versus pop. Very interesting. And it, I mean, it makes sense since rock are very, uh... Rock and music, I mean, is very central to the series. It's it's about like urban stuff. Um So what do you guys like? Rock or pop music? There's no trivia on this one. I don't mind pop. It really depends on my mood. I think back then, this is what I'll say, I think in 2015, when this was up, assuming I played this game at the time, I would have chosen, I would have chosen rock. Because my family was always like, oh, pop and rap are so annoying, they all just sing about the same shit all the time. And I was, I found out about it, like in 2016 or something, 2017. But, I mean... Pop has its place. There's some good pop out there. I'll say overall rock, though, because I like alternative rock. So I'll, I'll, I'll say rock for me. Which won popularity by 64%. It probably had the same reputation back then in... in uh, they This seems really like Nintendo was just trying to see their... Like, test their demographic. See who their fans were. They're like, oh, we know a lot of people like pop. But are those the types of people who play our game? Um, and it turns out they're not because they lost by... Th they got 36% in popularity. And wins um, was 53% for Rock. So Rock just blew, the, blew it out of the water. I don't think... No one in my chat wants to talk about music opinions right now. That's too, that's too political. Eating versus sleeping. Got this one. Eating versus sleeping. You just don't have music opinions? Yeah, for me, I just listen... I don't listen to genres, really. I more listen to, like, particular songs. If I like a song, then I like it. You like 100 Gex? Okay. So, Pop. I didn't know people actually liked 100 gigs. I thought that was just a meme music. Like Splatoon music. I thought it was just music that was made. Let's see if there's trivia about eating and sleeping. No, there's not. Can't even tell me a, a fact about sleeping. It's good because it, I can appreciate that. I don't think I could willingly listen to 100 Gex, but I have heard songs like, um, like Chills, Chills' song, I think Sidelined it's called. I listened to that ironically, and then I was like, holy shit, this is actually pretty good. Like, I, I can listen to that on ironically, but that's not how it started. Um, so who, what do you prefer, eating or sleep? This is so mundane. Who gives a fuck? Why does Europe care about that more than roller coasters and water slides? They're like, oh no, we, we like eating and sleeping over here. Um, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say sleeping. Because I'm trying not to eat as much. I'm trying not to like eating as much. So, I'll say sleeping, because sleeping's good. Sleeping's pretty nice. I love food, though. I, I like it too much. That was my problem. It tastes... It tastes so good. Are you going to say eating while sleeping? Is that what you're going to pitch to me right now? Yeah. 
good sleep or good food? Good sleep or good food? Is that really a different question? Good sleep. I could use some- I could go for some good sleep right now. I, I think because I've, I sleep so late... And because I sleep so late, and because I have, I don't like memory foam or whatever a Bobopedic mattress is. I just want springs back. So I think that good. I think I would say good sleep. Um, but fortunately for eating, this was still when wins was just a two times multiplier. So they won 63% popularity but sleeping won 52 percent um so i don't know who would have won if this was six times the 52 percent but eating ended up winning crazy absolutely crazy nor this one is also kind of mundane and for my own sanity, I try to think of this one as polar bears versus penguins. Because who... It's what, I want to go to the North Pole or I want to go to the South Pole. I don't want to go to either of those places. I really don't. I, I'm sure North Pole is probably most people's choices because Santa Claus lives there. But, like, who actually gives a fuck about these places, other than that? <laughs> the fuck is this? It's really, it's really dumb. The next ones are, the next one's pretty good. The next one's a thinker. This one is nothing. This one is, I, I, I don't know, North Pole, because get to see Santa Claus, I don't know. It won by 52% popularity, um, but it lost and wins by 52%. So the South Pole ended up winning. Who cares? What kid cares about the South Pole? Is there even any trivia to make this worthwhile? Nope. Absolutely nothing to make this worthwhile. The European Splatfest just suck. This one's good. This one is really good. You gotta give him this one, at least. Singing versus, versus dancing. That's... That's pretty smart. I think they ended up recycling this one, even. In Splatoon 2, from what I remember, um, because it is a good one. So, do you prefer singing or do you prefer dancing? Personally, I have two left legs. I actually have, like, six left legs, but you guys don't have to know all that. Just know that I have multiple left legs and no right legs, so I cannot dance. Um, but singing is okay. I've... I've I'm confident enough about my about my singing that I've done it a few times on here. Imagine getting this instead of Patrick versus SpongeBob. They, hey, they got that one too. They got that one too. When did all right? What did we have at the time that they had this one? This one was announced August twenty second. Uh, the fourth one. Yeah, no. Yeah, absolutely. America was... America for Splatoon was heaven. Because not only did we get Autobots versus Decepticons during this one, but it was also announced four days before theirs. So I guess just fuck Europe. Just fuck Europe. Uh, but uh, yeah, for me, this one would be singing. What do, what do you guys think? Would you rather dance or sing? Still no trivia. Europe's just too boring to have trivia. Now, what if you don't like either side in a Splatfest? Do you... Would... I guess this is more of a personal question. Would you... Would you force yourself just to pick one? Or do you just... Do you only pick them if you're passionate about one? Because I feel like for me, I would, like, what if I vote for one 
and then I think about it a little bit, and then I'm like, oh, I actually meant the other one. I want the other one. Dancing, all right, dancing surprisingly won by 54%. You just choose a random one. Oh man, I couldn't do that. Uh, dancing won by 54% in popularity, but singing took the took home the trophy with 57% wins. And this is when they were doing the f the four times multiplier, so that's why it seems a little janky. But you know, 57 is a higher number than 54, so so yeah, whatever multiplier you do it, it's gonna be higher. Unless you have some weird math equation that makes 54 end up as a higher number than 57. Then I wanna, I kinda wanna see that. That sounds like a weird science thing that could actually exist. <laughs> now this one is just, again, either Nintendo trying to find out their clientele or Nintendo trying to out these kids to their parents and get them in fucking trouble because this one was my bedroom is messy versus my bedroom is tidy. And 56% uh, of people playing this game at the time were freaking idiots. Because their parents came into their room, saw them playing Splatoon with like fucking clothes and banana peels on the floor, and, and just screamed at them to clean their room. Because they saw on their Splatoon screen that they chose messy against tidy. It's it's dumb. This is a dumb. This is a dumb Splatfest. I'd say tight. I would say tidy. Even if it was messy, who admits to that shit? In Europe, they're absolutely crazy. They're just admitting to having a messy room. All of them. Oh, 56 percent. It's enough to win. <laughs> it's enough to win the Splatfest. Me, bitch. Alright, I'll, I'll admit, right now my room is messy. But that's because for the past, like, year, I've thought that we were getting ready to move. So, that's my excuse right now. I'm a messy motherfucker. Okay, there's no interesting trivia on this one. It's just not a good one. This one's... I don't know if this is like a cultural thing, because I wouldn't think to do zombies versus ghosts, but... I don't know. What, what do you guys... I'm a bigger... Alright, this gives a little more insight. I'm a bigger fan of zombies, or I'm a bigger fan of ghosts. And this was announced... This was announced on Halloween. Give me a second here. Oh, let me get this straight. They couldn't even give Europe a, a Halloween Splatfest. I feel so bad for any European kid that had this game. Because they didn't even get a Halloween Splatfest. They got an announcement for a Splatfest on Halloween. And then it ended on November 8th. That's... And we, in America, we got... Um... M potentially a worse Halloween one, which was the Pirates vs. Ninjas. But at least we got the results on November 1st. It got announced on, no on October 23rd. God damn it. Just L's across the board. You know what I was thinking earlier is I think a fun thing to do, I, it would make more sense too if I had more uh, more general viewers, but maybe another time I could do this basically the same stream, but we could also do polls in the chat and then see what like the consensus is. I think that could be really fun. And then we could have official like, you know, within my community, we could have official uh, Splatfest winners. I'd say, for this one, I'd say ghosts. Ghosts are just cooler, more interesting. And speaking of which, this is a really good time. I actually got that picture I was talking about before. 
the go the uh, supposed ghost picture um, that I was too scared to show because I, I thought it would curse you or something. But you know what? I'm 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 kind of over it. So it was in one of the nukes top five. Sorry, I have to find it real quick. It was in one of the nukes top five videos, and I I just zoomed in on what the thing was. Let's let's fit it to um How's this going to look? Look at that. It's a fucking ghost. Couldn't even do werewolves versus vampires. I I'd probably vote vampires. Look at the look at that face. It's fucking scary. So there's a ghost. That's why I vote ghost. Because of that little dude. That's a tr You said that's a tree? That's a tree. That's in someone's doorway. That's like coming down from their stairs. What do you mean that's a tree? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh man. So, alright. Uh, so this wall, this white thing right here is the wall to like their stairway. I guess I didn't think about the fact that this is like, like, pixel image. <sighs> so this is, this white thing's a wall, and this is a figure, like a head, behind a wall. And, uh, I, should I use a smaller image to, hold on. Let's, uh, copy this. Can I just, you know? How do you fucking grab- how do you grab a copy after- I'm- I'm lost. I'm fr someone- Send help, I'm lost. It doesn't- it doesn't matter. So that- like, that gray stuff in the back is just the other wall behind him. And it's- it's like- that- I don't- I don't know how to explain it other than that. There's just a, like a face here. This dark, this dark spot is like a face. You see like the, the concave eyes, and then like the mouth. There's like it's like an alien head kind of. It is now that I think of it, it's probably really hard to see without uh, the context of the video. Should we start watching Nukes Top Five? I haven't watched it in like three weeks now, but. This is the last time I mentioned it to you guys, probably. So yeah, Ghosts won by 51% in popularity and 54 in uh, Ws. So that's that's neat. This one was just controversial for no reason. And I have no shame in saying that uh, pineapple on pizza is really fucking good. This is, um, the question. Well, there's no que- They should present a question. It's just the- The choices are pineapple on pizza is delicious. Or pineapple on pizza is disgusting. Blocked and reported. Well, have you tried pineapple on pizza before? Maybe try that first before coming at me. Why- Why does so many- Why are there so many, like, pizza things? Does the world just love pizza? Everybody just loves pizza. How did it lose by so much? People are just freaking insane. It's because Gordon Ramsay said something about it. Wait, this is the only European Splatfest that featured Museum Delfonso? Oh, okay, that's just a... That's just a splat festing location. Yeah, so disgusting one by 62% and 54% in wins. That's because all of the off the all of the pineapple lovers were busy off being lawyers or, or like doctors or something. I don't want to play video games. We're we're like intellectuals, so we don't really. 
We don't really fuck with video games that much. I only do it to entertain you guys, really. I don't... The Europeans. <laughs> so, the, yeah, this is just a strange image for me to pop up with no context. The next one is Fit versus Rich. In 20... Alright, so this was a like a New Year's resolution one. In 2016, I'm gonna get fit. Or in 2016, I'm gonna get rich. That's what rich people sound like, I guess. Rich people flex and then fit people just kind of say that they're fit. Um, there's no specific like art for this with the, with the sisters. Um, I don't know. What it was I thinking in 2016? Or before 2016. I was too young to even know what these were. I was I was I was like 16 years old. I didn't I didn't know what money was. You don't learn about that until you're like 32. So I don't know how any of these kids uh, voted on this or represented either team. What would you guys, what would, do you want to get fit or, I would say probably fit because I'm, <laughs> I'm not fit and, and it would be better to be fit, but I'm also strapped on cash a little bit, but I think health for me is more important. At least at this point in my life, back then I might have probably said money, uh, but money won. Uh, the popularity by 56%. But they lost to Fit with Fit with 53%, which which won the whole thing for for Fit. So I guess the Fit people are just fit at video games too. Makes sense, you know? Does it? Does it actually? All right, so this is, I don't know what the fuck they got this one for. 10, this is when we got past and future. I'm pretty sure, or uh, they're about. Um, I play like a barbarian or I play like a ninja. What does that even mean? What, the f what does that even mean? I play, I don't know, I'm more brute or I'm more uh, sneaky. Team Barbarian was the least popular team to ever win a Splatfest in Splatoon. They were only 23% of the popular vote. So th I mean, this just shows this just shows what six times um, wins does for 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 a team. They had 59% wins, and that was enough to bring them back from the dead of being 23% popularity, and they just won the whole thing because of it. D don't you think that's a little fucked? Don't you think that's a little not great? Obviously, they were playing like barbarians, though, so they they weren't wrong. I, I would choose probably Team Ninja, too. I mean, it was the popular vote. Ninjas are cooler than barbarians. I've never been a huge fan of barbarians. I, I don't know why. I'm not really into, like, like buff and, like, I don't know, like, like brute things. Uh, but this was a pretty good one, too. And they did get the Pokemon Red versus Pokemon Blue one before this. So, hey, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Um, so, Hoverboard versus Jetpack. That's pretty good. It's pretty spicy. That's pretty spicy. Uh, this is actually... I was thinking this might be like a long stream 
but I was like, nah, there's no, we're just talking about pictures, basically. But no, this is, this is taking, I'm glad that it's taking so long. Oh, I still gotta watch Primal, though. Uh, that might, that might shift my, my stance a little bit. So I do think that this is a cool, um, a cool Splatfest idea. Hoverboard versus Jetpack. And, um, you know, I think the convenience of a hoverboard is a little more apparent. Um, clearly because it won by just a little bit, though. 51% and 52%. Yeah, the hover is cooler because with a jetpack, you have to wear a whole, like, whole outfit. You know, you have to wear the whole jumpsuit just so it doesn't burn you and stuff. You gotta wear the helmet. Um, you should be wearing a helmet on your hoverboard, but even then you could wear a cool, like, outfit that doesn't have to be, like, a jumpsuit. Oh, this, this song is good because it's just random-ass noises. I mean, that is... Plus your ass burns. <laughs> have you used a jetpack before? Hoverboard is sick, but I'm too scared to ride. Yeah, I'd probably... I'd probably wear full freaking hockey armor in one, but... You have a... Okay. How easy is it to ride a... a like, a, to get a jetpack? So the next two for them were the... Um... Why the fuck is the costume party called a fancy dress party? Is it supposed to be ironic? Off Walmart. Do not use a jetpack from Walmart. Don't use anything that could be potentially dangerous from anyone else if if you're getting it from Walmart because that's you're just writing your like your death sentence right there. Okay, so this one this next one is World Tour versus Space Adventure, which is also I think this one's also pretty good. I'd tra I'd rather travel the world or I'd rather go into space. Um, for me, I think there's just a lot that's already on our planet to behold that's really cool. So I would personally choose World Tour. I'd choose World Tour because there's we know that there's cool stuff here. If you go into space, I mean, sure the sp sure space around you looks cool, but you're not certain that you're gonna see as as cool things on other planets that you that you're gonna see here Yeah, she's just entranced by the natural beauty of our earth and uh, you know what? You know what I think the space adventurer is also looking at earth from space so So um, she must have been one of the votes in the 51% for popularity and 52% these some of these are pretty damn close um this is ba -ba -ba -ba, the first this first Japan Splatfest so it is rice versus bread the art the art is very weird I think. Oh, but hold on. Hold on now. Wait a second. That's not the only art we get, actually. It turns out. As it turns out, there was actually more art about this one. Look at that. That's Cali with uh with with some rice. And then uh, we got Marie with. <laughs> I'm. I might have to save this next picture because this is a really good. This is a really good picture. She's using it as like a pillow, or she's like protecting it from some from being eaten by someone else. That's really fucking good. And you know what? I'll I'll give in. I'll give in to the, like, Splatoon, uh, popularity contest. 
I'm gonna vote bread just because of that. Just because of this- just because Marie is f funny in this picture. That's so fucking good. Um, but let's see if there's any trivia or anything. I don't know, I like me some rice, but... Bread school. See, these are two items that I feel like... I can't really be too passionate about. They're just like, accessories to a full meal. Oh, but rice... Damn, rice won popularity by 58%. And, um... They won the matches by 55%. Which makes sense in Japan. Because, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of rice meals to eat. I wonder if they got art for every single one. Was there World Tour versus Space Adventure art? Damn, Europe got like no art of Callie and Marie. So, a lot of the Japanese ones, I think this was the first, like, crossover? Yeah, this is technically the first crossover Splatfest we got. Um, and Nintendo's motto is just, fuck Europe. Yeah, clearly. So, uh, I, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, because I definitely wasn't. It, this is, uh, here, I'll read... I guess it doesn't really explain it much. It just says Red Fox um, versus Green Tanuki. And I think these are both like Brahmin or something. I'm glad you guys are here right now because I would feel so dumb if there was no viewers right now and I was trying to just like talk to myself about this. Maybe this, maybe this art will give us a little more insight. They really got art. They really just screwed America over even with this art. Because they got one, it looks like, for maybe every Splatfest. We probably just got ones that they had just from theirs. So this is the Red Fox. They're different. They're not different brands. They're from the same brand, I'm pretty sure. They're just different, uh... Oh, hold on. They're different, like, flavors. So one is Udon and one is Soba. I don't know what the difference between those are. I'm sure it's substantial, I just don't really... I'm not familiar with either of them. Um... But, I feel like I trust... What was the- I trust a fox more than I trust a, a tanuki. Cause tanukis just have their balls out, right? It's just weird. Hold on. I gotta find this again. Here we go. I don't know which team I would choose. But, let's see. So the, the popularity winner was Red Fox by 67%. Substantial as fuck. But the um, the 33% who chose Green Tanuki um, really sh like showed their own because they got 53% in the wins, but the, it ended up being Red Fox. You know what Udon is, but do you know what uh, Soba is? They're both... I'll be honest, they're both probably really fucking good. That's what I'll say about them. Uh, the next one is also like a, a brand promotion, which is interesting. Um, I'm sure, yeah, they had art for this one too. So lemon tea versus milk tea. And I'm gonna be a little weird because I know here we're more, in America, we're more used to, like, lemon tea or, like, sweet tea uh, type drinks out of the bottle. 
But I know that um, the milk tea, like putting milk in teas is pretty good. I made that clear when I was drinking tea for some reason one day when streaming. And I also had milk separately and I drank them and I was like, it's like wine and cheese. Soba is when you're not drunk. Okay, okay. So I guess I'm team... I'm team Udon, but I'm also team Soba a little bit. We all have a little Udon and a little Soba in us. What do you guys think of the music so far, though? Is it like... Do you think I made good choices? Did I choose random ass songs? So this is the lemon tea with uh, with Callie. And we got... Oops, that's the bread picture. I'm keeping that up. Because it's really fucking good. And then we got... The Marie picture. And I guess that's what milk tea looks like. I, I'd, I'd, I'd pick milk tea. I've been wanting to try royal milk tea. I hear that it's really good. Um, and you're not wrong because... Is that this brand? Is that what brand this is? No, this is a different... Is it? It's... I mean, they won. 68%. One second. 68% in popularity and 55% in wins. And baby, you know it. Milk tea ended up winning at the end of the day. Oh, it's a method of preparing it. Okay. It's got to be pretty good. This Marie picture. I'm going to have to put this on my other screen. It's going to trip me up too much. Okay, so what are we looking at next? This, see, I was trying to find more information on this. On the, uh, like, on this, on the page. But there's not much. Um, is this like a folktale thing, maybe? Folklore thing? Uh, grasshopper versus ant. Why well, don't, here, we got Google. We got Google. Grasshopper versus ant. Fable. It's a fable. The ant and the grass and the grasshopper. I had assumed that it was a f fable or something, but I I what is the here since you know it? What's the general uh, rundown of it? So on this Wikipedia page, there's a bunch of uh, pictures of like, like illustrated grasshoppers and shit. And then it's it says this part that's in art, and it just shows a naked lady. That's that's the art. It's the grasshopper versus ant art. Um, the fable describes how a hungry grasshopper begs for food from an ant. When winter comes and is refused. The situation sums up moral lessons about virtues of hard work and planning for the future. Ant works hard, grasshopper goofs off. Winter comes, grasshopper like sucks because he didn't do anything. Oh. So it's basically procrastinating versus working hard all the time. You know what? I think morally, I think the ant, it makes sense to side with the ant. But I think everyone sees themselves in the grasshopper a little too much because it won popularity by 61%. And it won it won the game by 53%. So... Oh yeah, the picture... Oh. 
I should have looked at these. I didn't think that pictures would describe the thing better than uh, the, the the sides it's themselves. So Kelly's image is captioned as procrastinate. And Marie's picture is captioned as proactive. Which is pretty, pretty good. They clearly went for a different style. It's more like little, more cute and chibi. Um, see, I think I relate more overall to Callie, maybe, but I like Marie's style. Her, her style. Yeah, I guess her style, her look better. She has almost like the pearl forehead going on there. Do they predict pearl in this image? Potentially. Potentially, they were already thinking about the character. So it seems very much like you're on the ant side. Is that is that the case? Are we gonna have a problem here? I just gotta remember the number of the one that I'm on. That's literally it. Okay, this one. I don't know why it's up there. Um. There we go. Not sure what it was doing up there. Made it look like I just added it now. Like, oh yeah, we have a new contestant. Um, okay. So, Bokeh versus uh, Su Sukomi, which is the, uh, where, where is it? It's the funny man versus the straight man. Um, and I think that in comedy, I was thinking this before I knew about, uh, about their personal dynamic. I, d I think that I often value, like, the more, like, serious person in comedy situations. Because it's just hilarious seeing, like, hilarity ensue around this character. And they're just, like, nonchalant about it. It's almost like... It's almost like they're more experienced in comedy than the person actually, you know, panning out the comedy. Does that make sense? You know what I'm trying to say? It's all, it's like they're like, they're like, so, they're so used to like hilarious things happening that they're like, oh, that's normal. Like this shit, you see this shit in front of you, and you, if you're able to act serious, that's peak comedy right there. Most, there are, that's one thing that I want to work on on myself, is I want there to be a, hilarious situations around me. And I want to be able to just look like this. I generally hate Boke Sukomi routines. It always feels like the joke is the reaction to the joke. Then, well, the, you got to think of this. I'm thinking of this more generally than in the specific routine that they do. I'm thinking of this as like, you know, I watch YouTubers who do this. Or like, like sometimes Germa sees like the craziest shit and he's just like, okay. Like, all right, moving on. That's, that makes, that makes me die. This, I think it's weird for me that this, that Sukomi won by 57% and 51%. Because I feel like most people who played this game back then probably were more of they didn't really understand that but i guess it is japan so they probably understand it very well there because i'm sh maybe there's a ton of shows or something that use that specific dynamic or maybe there's comedy routines that use it and are popular um so this next one is the first the original squid versus octopus and it was not a race war in this one it was actually the foods which is really bizarre and kind of fucked up to have in this game. But uh, it pins, it pits the types of sushi against uh, one, one another instead. So that's kind of weird. Erm, um, that's a little fucked up. So we got... 
We got Cali representing the squibs. And we got Marie representing octopus. I said the as in as if like I guess okay. But this makes it re this makes it really strange. Race war, huh? Why would that not why would you not be allowed to say race war? That's a thing that I, they actually had in in a, Spl in a Splatoon game, a race war. And they just casually had it. This seems this seems a little sus. This is about sushi? I don't know. It is a it's probably like a Japan type of funny thing to do this, but it it seems kind of fucked up in retrospect for me. Um I I don't know if I like either of them. Is calamari octopus or squid? Because I've had that before, and I mean, it's okay. It's octopus and squid? I don't even fucking know which... I, I guess... I'll just say what... Popularity was 66% for uh, squid. And they ended up winning. Even though octopus won by 53%, so... That's pretty good. That's lucky, because they had the four times multiplier on him. Uh, love versus money is the next one. Um, so, I feel like we kind of did cover this. Well, not really. Not really. Not really. Not fully. We did talk about money, but we didn't talk about love. Can I? No. We got Callie here with a little heart. And we got... This is another good Marie picture. There's just a ton of them. There's just a ton of them. That's really fucking good. I would probably go with love though, because it's... I mean, money doesn't really mean much to me. Love is a love is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. Oh yeah, no, we're definitely on. Uh, we're definitely on love then. Gotta go with love. Let's see who else went with love. Um, so popularity was fifty three percent for money, and love won by fifty one percent. Look at that, love wins. That's what they say, isn't it? Love fucking wins, and it did by. <laughs> By 1%. Um, so this one's called... I think this might be like... Uh, this might be Japanese terminology, but it's mountain food versus seafood. Um, and I, you know, I like both. I do like both. They're both pretty good. Mountain food is just like most... Food with like, like, like normal like animal food, right? Like that's like pork or something, and there's like berries and and stuff. Uh, I think that's the safest bet usually while planning a meal. And unfortunately, I don't think I could tell you which one I fully prefer because my family doesn't really like seafood as much as I do. So I haven't had it enough to really tell you. If I'm like, if I love it, if I if I love it as much as this this little lady here, um, is that weed leaves? Oh, I might, might have to go with. Uh, I know all the stuff I was I was saying, but I might might have to go with with seafood. Weed. I didn't know that was a seafood. It must be seaweed. Is there trivia about this one? No. So it looks like seafood was is pretty popular there. It makes sense. It is an island, right? 
So 52% um, popularity and 51% wins. It's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Seafood is pretty good. I can just... I think that the thing about seafood is if you fuck it up, you royally fuck it up. Like, it's, it's bad when it's bad. And if... I guess if meat is bad... It takes a lot more for it to be really, really bad. Does that math add up? Alright, so this next one is perfect body versus perfect brain. Look at that perfect body. That's, like, phenomenal. I like that the head is tiny on that. Just to indicate. But you know what's... You know what's kind of weird about this? Um... I think at the end of the day, this is just like a, this is me putting my um, mentality on it. But I feel like you, if you achieve your own perfect body, you know, if you achieve what you think to be your perfect self, then your brain can be perfected by that. So I think that I might choose just based on that, my own logic there. I'd probably choose perfect body. Perfect brain. Is she moving two pieces at the same time? It's fucking crazy. So I would choose probably perfect body, but it looks like a lot of... Yeah, because she's smart. She knows that she can cheat by moving two pieces at once. So popular vote was uh, Brain by 56%. Um, hold on. Body won by 53% in the fights. And then they ended up winning overall because of that. Alright. Okay. Say less. Um, what's, alright, what's after, we're the freak. So this next one was another, uh, cross promotion thing. And don't just be like, ha, I'll, I'm pick this one. No, you have to know what it is first, dude. You can't just pick orange slime or like purple jellyfish. So this one is go all out versus focus on healing. Um, hell yeah, she slime. She slime. He, you choose healing? Really? That is interesting. Because um, I, you know, it makes sense. It makes sense to, to focus on healing. That's like strategically... It makes sense, but I feel like in a lot of the games that I play, which is Pokemon, if you're just attacking, then you're as good off, you're as well off as you are just uh, healing. Oh, she slime is 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 perp is orange. I don't know why they picked that. I just really like the art style. You know what I mean? I think water watercolor art is just it's it's just something else. Cause even looking at old like Pokemon pictures, it's a it's they they look amazing. Like set something out. I, they set something out in my brain. I would choose go all out cause I'm a fucking idiot. But, uh, healing did win by 54% and 52%, so I'm a masochist, so I always go healer when possible. That's, alright. That's a different story, I'd say. If it's a game that has, like, a soul healer character, then makes sense. Uh, this other one, we'll probably just go right over. I don't even know if the art is worth covering. Do you guys like seeing the art? 
Do you like seeing the character art? Let me see, I'll, I'll let me see if it's even... Nah, they're just... The squids are pretty. Okay. I just wish I had, uh... Sorry, I'm like re- I'm re- uh, rethinking how to go about this. Oops. I'm hoping I have a good idea. Um, this theme is weird even for Japan. Do you know what it is just by looking at it? Okay, no, this is taking, this is taking fucking long too. It's basically, I think, tuna sushi versus uh, salmon sushi. That's what it is in my brain to make it easier for me to choose a side. Uh, but let me read you what it actually is. Uh, tuna mayonnaise onigiri versus red salmon onigiri. And personally... Oh, they're, f they're onigiri flavors from, from Japan. All right, that adds up. Yeah, so that's, I mean, I guess she just ate a bunch of it, of, of, of sushi. And then that's, <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant to do. I, I would choose I would choose tuna because I've I don't like the salmon sushi that much. I've had it and I don't know if it's just the way that they do it at the place that I've been to, but it's it's not as good as as the tuna. It's there's just something off about it that isn't as great. But I mean it was a close one. Salmon won by 52% in popularity. Um and tuna won, oh my fucking god, tuna won 51% in, in wins. And they, they just won overall for that. Have you had, have you had either sushi though? This one, um, Mushroom Mountain versus Bamboo Shoot Village, uh, I guess. In America, that would be uh, Choco Room versus Choco Cones. So they're just, they're basically just like little chocolate uh, cookie things. And they look, they look pretty good. I think I might have, I don't know if I've tried them before, but I, I can imagine what they taste like based on what they look like. It's fucking brutal. I think the other way I did it just worked better. Um, I mean, this is god tier. I would choose this one because it looks like it has more chocolate on it. Do you think if Salmon won, uh, we'd be fighting Tuna in Splatoon 2? Potentially. It's possible. This one has my vote, though. The bamboo shoot one. Have you tried either of them? I knew this was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna get lost because there's so freaking many of them. Um, I just like the idea of the whole thing basically being coated in chocolate. And it seems like that is a popular uh, agreed upon thing. Because it won popularity by 63%. And uh, Mushroom Mountain won the matches by 52%, but they, did, they didn't end up winning for that. So that's pretty neat. Alright. Next one. What do you think of these ones? I think the European ones were a little, a little better because they were more, uh, I don't know, they were more general. These ones, the, the, 
Japan ones were oddly specific. But alright, now we're gonna open Splatoon 2. And trust me, there's a lot of these. Cake versus ice cream. Cake versus ice cream. That's really hard to choose, honestly, because, uh... I mean, they're both pretty good. She's a little cupcake. I feel like cake plus ice cream is pretty good. Like, why, why not? Why not both? You know. If I had to choose one, I would. I'd probably say cake, because there's nothing in this world like a perfectly made, like moist cake. There's nothing that compares to it. You have to go ice cream. That's fair. I guess a lot of fucking people had to go ice cream too. Um, and for Splatoon 2, it looks like they added a new um, factor. So it won 76% popularity, which is fucking insane. 51% in solo wins. But for team wins, um, 53% went to cake. This is just getting very convoluted and confusing. Ice cream cake. You didn't say that. Ice cream and cake do the ice cream cake. Okay. They said ice cream cake. I was like, hold on. Now you're pitching a new idea to us. Also, this is the best song ever written. No question. No question whatsoever. This song, the first time I heard this song, I couldn't stop laughing. I, I think I told you that, Zen. I couldn't stop laughing. So I was like, is that a sign that I should not, like, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't add this to the playlist? Because <laughs> one of the comments, one of the comments on, on the, the, the video for this song was me and my bro, like, synchronized burping or something, or harmonizing our burps. And I just lost it. Why do you say mayonnaise? That's Oh look, she's taking a little picture on her of her of her cake. <laughs> Why is she what are they putting this on? This is horrible. I'm I'm not feeling that picture as much as I liked the other one. Or the other ones, I guess. Ketchup sucks and is disgusting and I hate it. Oh my god. You are mean. You are mean. Holy shit. So I'm just gonna- there's- it shows all of the results for all of the countries now and it's- It's hurting my brain to mayonnaise. So I'm just gonna say what the American one was. Cause that's how I did it the first time, basically. Essentially. Um... Ketchup won popularity, I think just cause Marie- I mean, Marie. Marina. Just because Marina is like the most gorgeous thing in the world and people I know this personally people took a while to warm up to Pearl and I think Pearl is cool and funny but I think Marina's design is unquestionably amazing um, so that's why I catch up one by 70 73 point 15 they're getting specific now mayo is too popular in Japan all right no no no, no. Japan mayo won in Japan actually so you're right there. It was close. It was kind of close. 56%. Almost 50% on solo wins. Marina has bazongos. Is that what determines good character design now? Oh my god. Why, why did ketchup win by that much in America? I wasn't expecting that. Um... But I mean, it, it was pretty close for the for the actual matches. Um, Manny's won by 51%. Actually, Manny's ended up winning because of the matches, but there were just 51%. That seems rigged to me. She did not. All right, <laughs> people don't like her design because she has badunka dunks. 
I like I like um I like her color scheme. The green looks really good. I think I just have a I have a soft spot for like that uh sea green color. And and incorporating that in almost any character design is is gonna be an instant W for me. All right, we can stop talking about mayonnaise and ketchup now. Let's talk about flight versus invisibility. Flight versus invisibility. Um, personally, uh, there's not much I can think to do within. It's basically, it's basically. Do you want your superpower to be found out and be dissected by the government, or do you want to be subtle and like not worry about shit? And I think that personally, I mean, thinking of it that way, I'd, I'd go with invisibility. But if we were living in a world where crazy shit happened, I'd probably choose flight. Because there's no need for... Well, if you can fly, let's say you have the ability to fly. You're not just going to lose your ability to fly while you're flying. So, it's... It's reasonable for you to be scared still while you're up there, but it's not gonna, it's, you're not gonna get hurt from flying. Um, this one was pretty damn close. 50.74% um, popular vote for, invisi for invisibility. They just lose their ability to fly in My Little Pony. Just out of nowhere. Is this the... Why does it say Europe? It just says region Europe and then it only says when it started and ended. It doesn't say the results. Did nobody... Did nobody, like, tabulate the results of that one? Solo wins... So, uh, Flight ended up winning because of Solo wins. 55.31 and 52... 24. Okay. This isn't one of the, like, greats. This isn't one of the, like, top ones. Oh, they did do Vampire vs. Werewolf eventually. They got to it. Um, let's see what our little characters look like in this one. Vampire vs. Werewolf. I am Team Vampire. Um, and it has nothing to do with Twilight. I just think that vampires are cooler in general. Um, look at how cute they are. And look at the moon. It has a little face on it. Isn't that quaint? Isn't that a little quaint? What do you guys say? What, do you, what team are you on? I've never liked werewolves because they're just like... It's too much like... It's like... For me, it's not fur. It's body hair. So it's just kind of disturbing to me. And not in a cool way like vampires are, are disturbing. Vampires f fucking destroyed. Well, by a little bit. They won at everyone. 53.56% popularity. 50.91% solo. 52.37 team wins. I mean, it was, it was clutch. It was clutch, but... Vampires can't eat garlic bread. What is it would you rather be? Yeah, no, this isn't would you rather be, it's just choosing a team. So I'm thinking of this more as like me admiring them. This isn't me being one of them, it's me admiring them. Like if I were to be friends with one of them, I'd rather be friends with a vampire. You know what I mean? Show the pic, show the picture again. Why? Wait, hold on. There's another picture, actually. <laughs> this is just... This is just a random... A random-ass picture of these characters. It's just... Hold on. What in the world? They pose in. You like witches more than, like, all of them? And then, uh, 
because you asked so nicely, I'll pull up the picture real quick. Oh, what is that logo on the bottom right? Does that actually say something? That's like in the Splatoon, the Splatoon language, guys, is actually a real thing, I'm pretty sure. Because they translated one of the shirts in, in like Splatoon 2, and I'm pretty sure it said fuck you on it. So the, 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 the stuff actually, it's an actual language. Alright, so this is the winter. Like the holiday one for Splatoon 2, the first one at least. And there's no, there's no details, really. It is real? What is real? What did I ask? Did I, did I ask something? Did I just get dementia right then? It's cute. Yeah, it's pretty cute. You can just go to like the Splat, Splatfest, uh, on, just look up Splatfest and then go to the wiki. And you can see all these pictures too. So this one is sweater versus sock. Um, it is obviously like a, like a, like a Christmas one, like a holiday one. Um, there's like no details explaining what this even means. Do people think about socks and sweaters? I usually just think about sweaters. Which is probably by why sweater, why sweater won. By 54%, 50%, and 52%. It makes sense. Cause like who who like who even thought of this? Who cares about this? It's just strange. Picture's not bad though. You know what I was thinking of doing for this? And I should have done it. I should have done um instead of doing a group of every single like Splatfest picture, I should have done groups of like 10 of them so then i could try to remember which because there's a lot of these pictures there's a lot of these splat fests to go through this oh the splatoon language is real okay you have this on while playing splatoon well that's what it's all about that's what we out here for uh next one is action versus comedy oh god that pie is fucking hilarious so for movie hold on let me go to my letterbox real quick honestly for movies i'd say horror is my top one um what would you say into the spider verse is probably more comedy than action right some of my favorite movies i don't know is, is horror more action or comedy is this like comparing apples to oranges? Am I am I am I doing something wrong here? Probably, right? I don't I don't get this picture. I don't understand what this picture is. Well, I get I get the action part, but what what does the comedy part mean? How is that funny? What's funny about this? Is it supposed to be like ironic humor? She's she's got a cane, so it's funny. I don't know. I can't think of a comedy that I like though. Prefer strong focus on the character. Yeah, I prefer like good writing. I don't know. I can't pick one of these to be honest with you. Remember when Romeo saw Juliet wearing a glove and said, "Man, I wish I was a glove." Is that a thing? Is that a thing that actually happened? So comedy ended up winning by 51% wins. 51% um, team and solo. Like both of them. Um, and and <laughs> action had 57.82% popularity. That's interesting. They've given up on showing the results for like each um, region. They've given up on it. This one, this is one that I can give a very so Oh yeah, we skipped our money versus love came back for some reason. And it has different art, but that's a lot of, it's a lot of work pulling that picture up too. So chicken versus egg. 
chicken versus egg. I have a 100% answer that I'm very passionate about for this one. Um, the, no, the egg came first. And we're talking the chicken egg. Because, hold on, let me, one second. Because, uh, see, uh, the chicken didn't lay the egg. Something that came before the chicken laid an egg that mutated into the chicken and became the chicken as we know it. So the chicken egg became before the chicken chicken. You feel? The thing before, the thing that laid the egg wasn't exactly a chicken. It was something that, like, evolved into the chicken. And it had to be in the egg before it did that little evolution thing. So that's what, that's just my thoughts on it. That's why I'm so passionate about my egg choice. Um, an egg did win popularity by 58%. Um, but it ended up losing to chicken to 52% wins, solo wins, and 56% team wins. Holy shit. So, and this is one I think that they redid. Baseball versus soccer. I don't care. I don't remember. I was thinking while I was picking these or like grabbing the pictures. I was trying to think of what my choices would be for each one as I was picking them. Just so like I wouldn't have to sit here and think about them. And this one, I don't remember what I ended up settling on. I don't think I did settle on something. I, I remember I played, I did play soccer for like a week in, in, in like elementary school. And I didn't like it because they had you kick with the side of your foot instead of the front of your foot. And I'm used to kicking being with the front of your foot. So I was pretty bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure baseball won in, in Japan. I, I'm convinced that this might actually just be a Japan only one, but we got to check for that. We got to fact check that one. Baseball. I don't. I don't believe in sports. Wow. So we just have the North America votes. Um, Fifty-nine point ninety-nine percent um, popularity vote for soccer. And holy shit, baseball won. Holy fuck. Hold on. Let me see. All right. Tell me if this makes sense to you. 59.99% popularity for soccer. But the wins were both for baseball. Solo wins for 50.81%. And team wins were 50.95%. And baseball ended up winning it all. Does... That's kind of fucked, isn't it? A little bit. That's wild, right? That's why the I'm a little suspicious of the multipliers. I, I, I'll vote for baseball. I know it's a little late, but they're, they're the underdog. That's a classic... A classic uh, baseball trope is like... The underdog team winning right now is this our this might be our first cross promotion um in splatoon 2 potentially it's uh i think rise of the tmnt yeah rise of the teenage mutant ninja turtles um and i didn't even know this show was this old but this was in i guess 2018 isn't that as long ago as it seemed it's just weird it's just crazy to think about because i feel like this show came out just like a year or two ago, but here we are. So this one's Raphael versus Leonardo. Uh, let's see if they, they're representing our, their teams. Interesting. This is pretty interesting. Um, crossover art. Just the f mere fact that it exists is interesting enough. Um, I said it was it's Raphael versus Leonardo, right? I want to pick 
Leonardo. I don't know the difference between Raphael. You don't know the difference between Raphael. Well, Raphael is the mean but cool guy. He'll flip you off with the tip of his two sai. Remember? Remember? I th I mean, based on their designs here, I'll go with Raph. I'll say Raph for me. No, Leonardo is the leader. His personality is leader. He d he probably just. You only know Mikey and Donatello. Okay. No, Raph is the one with the anger problems. Um. Leo somehow won popular vote by 57%. Uh, but Raph won. Obviously, all it takes is winning the matches to win. By 51% and 55%. Um, and this was not just this. This was not just this one matchup. This was a tournament. They did a little tournament thing for him. So then they did Mikey versus Donnie. Um, Mikey is like the, the silly guy. You know, the funny, just the funny lad. And Donatello is like the smart one. Um, and let me show you. Let me show you who's who's on whose side. Who's on first? The art for this one looks a little weirder than the other one. Oh, you skipped this one or the all of the TMNT ones because you couldn't decide. Who would I choose um, between these two? I think. I hate to be predictable, but I, I'd probably pick Mikey because he's a silly he's a silly guy, you know? You skipped all of the TMNT ones. Um You just skipped this one because you couldn't decide. I'd say Mikey for me. And he won popularity by 55.85. Um but Donnie took it home with 52% and 54%. Interesting. So that leaves us with Raph versus Donnie. Raphael versus Donatello Liel. Um, I d don't. It doesn't look like they did art for this one. Even though they could have easily just reused their. Unless they're representing different teams now. I think they're representing the same teams that they were before. It's weird they wouldn't just use the same image again, right? Um, so obviously since I chose Raph the first time and Mikey the second time, it's not too tough for me to decide, uh, Raph for this one. So Raphael won by 53% popularity, but Donnie won with 51.89% and 50.98%. So this shit was close. This shit was real close. Is there any little trivia about it? Nope. Oh, the ink colors for the Splatfest are absent from being chosen in private battles. This trait is shared with the... Spoilers, spoilers, not gonna say them. Not gonna say them. So this one actually took me by surprise a little bit. Um, pulp versus no pulp. Um, I like my orange juice with pulp, or I like my orange juice without pulp. I thought... Well, alright. Okay, hold on. This isn't exactly what I thought it was. This, I thought that... I just saw who won, and I was like, what the fuck? So, pulp won. But that's just because they got 50.62% solo wins, and 52.61% team wins. Um... But no pulp won popularity by 67%. There's this weird era of uh, North American Splatfests where everyone compared them to European. What? Oh, was this one? Did they call this one shitty? They said this one was low, low quality. 
That's some of the best art from Splat 2 so far. Why'd she drink it like that? Why'd she go bloop? I'm obviously team uh, no pulp because pulp is kind of fucking gross. If I have to, if I'm at gunpoint, I'll drink pulp. She's, she's team pulp, isn't she? Okay, wow. Gross. She's drinking all the pulp. She's gulping all the pulp down. I don't like orange juice either, but if I'm going to drink it, I'd prefer it. See, this is how unpicky I am. I don't like I don't like orange juice. But if someone hands me a glass of orange juice without pulp, I'll drink it. And if someone gives me a glass of orange juice with pulp, I'll be like, ew, pulp, and then I'll drink it. Like, I don't... I'm not picky. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just... It's fine. I'll just drink it. I feel like a lot of the time, though, um, I think that I do that, and then I take a sip, or, like, I drink a little bit of it, and then I'm like, ew, I don't want the more rest of this. You've never seen orange juice with pulp? It's just... You know all the gross parts of an orange that everyone pulls off before eating? Yeah, they decide to put those in the drink. Pretty smart, right? So here we are at the- we're finally at the race war one. Squid versus octopus. Same one as the- as in the first game, except this time it's about the- it's about the character races. Um, what art did they do of this? It doesn't look like- it doesn't look like there's any Kelly and Marie specific art for this. Yeah, no, there's no specific art for it. But there is the image that I used um, on Twitter for this, for this whole thing. So I guess I can show that real quick. It has them on it, but it's more of a general thing. Um, th this is probably a huge, they probably, uh, they probably promoted this one quite a lot. Canonically, Inklings are kind of dumb. So Marina managed to pass as one for years. They didn't f even know. Are they canonic? Are they canonically dumb, or did they just? Is it just one of those silly things that they were like, "Oh, we didn't even know." Octolings, uh, squids ended up winning overall, but it was a, it was a close one. Octopus got fifty five point ninety six percent popularity. There's a big reveal to Pearl that Marina was an octopus. Was she mad? Did they almost split up because of it? Squid ended up winning with 51% and 52%. That's absolutely insane. The Splat Flest Flist. Also, let people play as Octolings without the DLC. Ooh, that's cool. Why do I have such a hard time reading what you said, even though that's like the title of the stream, basically? Okay, uh, Fork versus Spoon, the stupidest shit I've ever seen. Pretty, pretty, pretty dumb, pretty petty. This is basically argue about literally nothing uh, this, the Splatfest, but who am I to say? People seem to like this one, actually. Did you like this one, or is, are you in the same team as me? That this is kind of dumb. If we're using it in this context, then obviously I'm gonna choose a fork. Obviously I'm gonna choose a fork if we're talking about, like, f in a fight. What's... That's literally the motivation of the villain in Octo Expansion. What is racism? What do you talk? What did I? S don't expect me. Don't ever expect me to remember what I just said. Just be like, oh, um, this thing that you said. Like, say what I said. The petty arguments, really. <sighs> this, I mean, this one's the pettiest of them all. I cannot pick a side. 
because these both obviously have different uh functions but i mean if i saw if maybe if i saw that official art i would choose fork because i'm like all right we're gonna use it in the context of fighting somebody with a giant with a comically large spoon or a comically large fork I, i'm choosing fork because you're gonna win unless you got the, the 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 scooper or whatever from from sister location Spoon won 53% popularity, but they lost to Fork, which had 51% and 50% in wins. Holy fuck, dude. Um, where is this one? Retro versus modern. This is a fashion question. I'm all about retro style or I'm all about modern style. Um, here's the thing. Punch the skeleton out of... Here's my thing. Um, well, let me see what their. Let's see if their art can sway me. Their art is really bizarre, and I, it doesn't seem to have much to do with the question uh, at hand. But I mean, technically, kinda. You had to pick retro because Pearl mentioned Squid Jump. Wow. I like urban. I like urban style. And that's not it right there. That's not urban, but I'm not going to let this one sway me because I'm pretty passionate about my initial answer of of modern because I I like the art that they use in this picture for the like the little modern character. I like it. So I'm team modern. I'm team modern um which I guess was the team to be on because they won 68% popularity. Um, I guess they called, what do you, clout? They called the wins clout in this. 51% clout for both uh, normal and pro. They mentioned that in the, what's uh, what's clout? And what's normal versus pro? That's the first time I read it. Yeah, is that the first time they used that? This next one is trick versus treat. And I think that... I feel that trick is a little bit underutilized in Halloween season, and I think that we need to bring it back. This also uh, turns Splatoon 2 into Splatoween. Just a little interesting fact for you all. Um, Trick versus Treat, also known as Splatoween. What do, what do you guys think? What is? I just wish I had a better prompt. Are we delivering these or are we receiving them? You know what I mean? I feel like that's a good question to ask. Yeah, there's no like, I'd rather receive a treat or I'd rather receive a trick. Obviously they don't want to do that because I don't know. Which, which one did you choose if either of them Zen? Trick or treat? Do they even have... I doesn't look like they have uh, Pearl and Marina art for this one. I could be wrong on that. But there is something that I can show you guys regarding... You know, I'm not even gonna... Oops, I'm not even gonna go that hard into looking for it. I'm just going to show you if they have it in better resolution. Yeah, here we go. So, I guess for this event, um, for this event, Pearl dressed up as Marina and Marina dressed up as Pearl. I think that's what we're looking at, right? Yeah. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's really cute. I think that was a fun idea. Um, 
It would have been funny if, if, if like one of them dressed up as the other one, and then the other one dressed up as like some other thing. I would, I would die if they, if that happened. Um, so I'll just, I don't know, I'll say trick. And trick won popularity by 56%. But it lost, uh, by 50% and 52% in the, the clout ones. Splatoon 3, Splatfests have three options, so they can feasibly do a crossover fest with the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared characters. Did I mention, did I mention having watched that when you were here? Or did you just happen to watch it? You just happened to watch it too, didn't you? Watch, that's how that's how Europe's gonna win back this this whole Splatfest thing is they're gonna do Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. And we're not gonna get it. All right, so this one's, I mean, salsa versus guacamole. I would personally probably, I mean, salsa blew this popsicle fuck. Oh, look at this. Oh, shit. Hold on. New, new, hold on. New best art? New best art, maybe? New best art? Potentially? That's pretty damn good. They look really cute. I know you watched it because you were the reason I found out they made a second one. You didn't know they made a second one? I, I really told you that they made a second one? You know about the show, right? Like the, like the, the full show that they're doing? That's crazy. I, you know what? I, d I hadn't even watched it until today. Sorry if that's a disappointment, but I didn't watch it until today because I forgot that it was happening. And also I was like, how am I ever going to watch this? And so I watched it, um, 100% legally and, and, and it was all right. You saw the TV show. It's, I mean, I preferred the template that they used in the videos, but I mean, episode two is, episode two is all right. I thought episode five was pretty, pretty freaking good. I just think that the stuff that I enjoy the show for might be, not be what everyone else enjoys it for. Um, so it's probably a pretty good show for people who are fans of these, of, of the things. I didn't, I don't like, um, episode two is the funniest. Yeah. I don't like when they use references from the... I like when each uh, episode has its own reference, you know? When each part is self-referential. I don't like when they're like, Oh, make him say pesky B because people like that and made memes of it. I, I don't know. I think that's... I thought it was funny when he said pesky B in the original. But it, hearing it in episode... In Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared 6. And then hearing it again... In one of the episodes of the show, it's just that ain't it for me. <laughs> Episode five was funny in my opinion. Yeah, I'll say salsa. Only because I've never had like guacamole on chips. I don't know the wonders of it. I don't know what it can do, but apparently it's not as good as salsa because salsa won 57%, 52%, and 54%. So. I guess it's just salsa, babe. That guy also got to swear, so it evens out, I think. Yeah, they did. They said damn and hell. I was surprised. They only did that in, like, the last few episodes, didn't they? Why did they do that? I am I am kind of intrigued by the, like, uh... The world that they live in, though. Because we could, we could only really get, like, a little taste of it. It seemed more formulaic before, but it's. I think it's cool that they're like, oh, all this crazy shit happens and we just kind of have to be here. Yeah, the cameos are, the cameos are all right. I think they're, they're treading the line of, mm, but it's, it's acceptable enough, I guess. So this next one is hero versus villain. It's another uh, crossover one. Um, and it's really bizarre. Because King DDD isn't even a villain, isn't he? Why'd they put him there? 
I don't know if you're meant to base this off of like which side you like more, which characters you like more, which side would win. What does it say? Just hero and villain. Well, what do they talk about? Ah, ah. A worldwide Super Smash Bros. Splatfest? Yes! In this corner, the brave- Why did they both scream? Was there something crazy that happened? They both screamed really fucking loud. You can tell because it's all in caps and there's like- There's like 20 A's and like 3 H's. In this corner, the brave fighters who battle the forces of evil. And in this corner, the fiends who stop at nothing to get in their way. Villains. Yo, are you seriously about to represent villains with a straight face? Ooh, they even... I... Okay. They're all just playing Smash. Okay. Okay. You can't... I can't look at this art. At least I can't. I won't say you can't. I can't look at this art and, and, and not just pick the characters that I prefer playing as. Dark Pit also isn't a villain anymore. He was supposed to be, right? But he, like, switched sides. Yeah, this is definitely a... A very questionable one. Um, I'm just gonna pick... Which... Which characters I like playing better, I guess. So who do we have? I don't like playing as Pit. I don't like playing as Fox. I don't like playing as Mario. I don't like playing as... Anyone on the left. I don't like Bowser. I don't like Wolf. I like Dark Pit. So I like Ganon. I like I think Ridley's cool. I like K. Rool. So I'll pick villains because of that. Of course, Marina has a GameCube controller because she's fucking based. Um, but villains, villains did win. Sixty-two percent uh, voted for heroes to win, but. The clout ended up being in favor of villains with 52 and 53%. That's crazy. I mean, it was a cute idea, but they didn't really... F they, they used hero versus villains to advertise Smash. But then they didn't really follow through with it with, like, their character reveals or anything. I also don't know what this picture is even supposed to represent. I just know what it is i know what it is i just don't understand why um but this is fam versus friend yeah family or friends um i don't know for me i'd i'd say friends it really really just depend oh, holy hold on holy hold on what I said the same thing twice. Family is when you sit on top of your smaller clones. Friends is when you wash your hands in cephalopods. Right, right. I forgot about that. Look at them fucking serving looks over here. Are they ranch? Cause they'd be dressing. Look at, hold on. That is the best. That is amazing. Pearl is fucking awesome. That is great. What does this have to do with family and friends? I don't... I don't get it. What does this have to do with family and friends? Well, let me see if I can find, like, the... If they did, like, art of them. Do they even have family and friends? Oh, man. Come on now. Oh shit, dude. It's like a- that's a background. That's gonna be my background on my computer now. This works actually really well. Cause I could do that on one monitor and then do the, uh, Marina one on the other monitor. Pearl has a super rich family. Is that canon? Or did you just say that? That's cool. Um. Oh, this was like a New Year's type of thing. So we can think of this as like, who would you rather spend New Year's with? Your friends or your family? Um. 
I also can't seem to... I mean, for any event... You'd think that for events, they would make official art of, of, of the characters that they always make official art of. But, uh... But for the events, they just have really flashy outfits that look amazing. And they don't make art of them at all. What is Macomart? Is that a place in uh, one of the games? I should th I should be able to think of at least what that is. So I'd say friends are probably more fun. If most people would want to spend it with their family, I think. But I think friends have wronged me a little less. Stage, it's a stage in two and three. Oh, okay. Um, but family did win out with popularity at least. Uh, with 62.27%. And then somehow friends brought it around with 51% and 52%. Uh, the next one. The next one. God, there's a lot of these. Here, maybe I should... At this point... Tell me if this is a good or a bad idea. Should I just do a part two? Because I do have a little, a little plan for after this. And I mean, if it's not even, if it's not obvious by now, I don't, I don't know how obvious I made it. Um, I think my tweet probably made it the most obvious, but I have a little something to play after this. So do you think it would be wiser to just, cause we, we're like, maybe we're on number 59. And there's 90 total. Do we keep going or? Cause I'm, I'm down to, yeah, I'm going to play Amanda the Adventurer again. Wait, I still have that downloaded. I'm, I think. Yeah. I mean. Obviously, I'm gonna be playing. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be playing Red and Pokemon Red and Blue, and I'm gonna be playing Smash Brothers. We talked about them today. Pancake versus a waffle. Let's look at this art. I don't know what this art. I don't know what this art uh, means. I like pancakes, by the way. I'd probably pick pancakes because chocolate chip pancakes are some of the greatest thing that you can eat on this entire planet. There it is. Are they being suspended or are they just getting... They're getting syrup poured on them. Okay. I, it must, I think just for, waffles can be really damn good, but they have to be genuinely made ones. They can't just be like store-bought ones. That applies to both though. Pancakes are easier to make. Pancakes are easier to make. So I'll say that's why, that's why pancakes. But waffles are a random option, so obviously they won. 51% in all in everything popularity uh, clout of both both kinds All right, what else do we have even why is there there was a lot I can let store-bought waffles slide, but... Okay, yeah. You don't want your right store... They're both not good, though. They're both not even really good. But... 
Uh, pancakes are easier to make, so why would you buy store-bought waffles if you can just make pancakes? They're just easier to make. Um. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just let me just. I guess I just gotta remember. We are at um, 59. This is number 59. So next time, we'll start with 60. Uh. But yeah, hold on. Yeah, there's there's just a lot, and it is getting late. And I did have a little something else planned. So it just makes sense to resume this later. Because we are going to be playing Splatoon 3. Big freaking surprise there. What should I... Hold on. I do have... I did have, for some reason, a ton of questions about this. Yeah, for eel. Splatoon 3, I just, I, should I play the story mode? I don't know if you guys wanted to play it with me, or if I should just play story mode. I guess it is a plus doing this in two parts, because then I could just delete the first several. Or maybe I want to save this folder for the next time I do the stream, if ever. All right, you're just gonna have to give me a slight moment to set up here. You suggest story mode because you just put the Splatoon 3 cartridge in your sister's Switch. I have not played... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... So I guess I'll... Yeah, I'll do story mode. I'll do story mode. Um... I heard that it's not great in this game. That's, someone said that. I don't remember who it was. But someone said that it wasn't as good in this game. But I mean, that'll that that's like a tutorial type of thing, right? And also, does it save your, I have so many questions. Does it save your character from the demo? Oh, it's better than one or two? Oh, fuck. Is it good for a beginner though? Are you able to tell that from not being a, No demo transfer. Okay, that's good. Because I wanted to start this with you guys. And I was just curious about the demo. Um, because... I was curious about the demo. And... Because I, I saw that it was still downloaded. On my, uh... You know, on my... On my system. So I opened it and it let me make a and it let me make a character still and play the tutorial. But then after that I was like, uh you can't connect to the internet, so fuck you. So I was like, okay, that's what I was hoping would happen. Cool. Um Okay. So there it is. Splatoon 3. God, I have so much shit so much shit open for this stream. I hope I hope you guys liked it cuz I mean I don't usually like try really really like hard out of my way. I'm a pretty casual streamer, so for the this once I decided to like put a lot of effort towards it. So I'm hoping it was at least somewhat presentable. It obviously went a lot, uh, lot slower than I expected. You like my time zone? You're saying that as if you're just now learning it. Fuck, it's coming. The audio's coming out of the thing. I was going to change my audio for a second. Oops. Okay, there we go. Now I can hear it. All right, let's open this. Let's open this baby. You also got it. You also get a peek of my. You can pretend that you saw my sister's account for the first time there too. Game saved. I just opened it. Splatfest region setting. Did I press? Uh... 
Done. There we go. Yeah, this title is misleading now. Um, I'll make it a little less m misleading. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Splatfests are special events where players are split into three teams to battle it out. Um, each region has its own Splatfests, including content and event times. Please choose which region Splatfest you'd like to be a part of. You can choose? Play in this region's Splatfest. So we get the same Splatfest as Australia and New Zealand. You can change this later, but if you participate in a Splatfest... Oh. This is interesting. Why would they let you do this? Are they not... You'd think that after a while they'd start to, like make them all the same, you know? You know what I mean? Here we are. Here we are in world land. Holy fuck, it's world land. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the same intro that you get in the... Splat 3 isn't region locked uh, anymore, but I don't know why they don't use the same themes. Oh, that exp- alright, if it's not region locked, then that explains why it asked me. You know what I mean? And here we are. Um. See, I didn't have any sort- I didn't know- at first, I had no clue what this was asking me. I thought it was just a hairstyle. So I went with this, because that hairstyle fucks, so I'm just gonna stick with it. I don't know. How white am I? I think I just chose the lightest one. Ooh, that's... That's a pretty color. Yeah, but it's not just gender. It's also... It's gender and... Um, like, race. Right? I wish that these looked better, because these are- it's cool that they are like that, but... Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna- you know what? I'm gonna spend as much time as- as, uh... Like, a lot of streamers spend in character creation and, like, Soul Calibur and- and, like, Elden Ring. But I'm just gonna do that in this game. Which, guys, is this, do I like this enough? I like, mm, how do most people pick their, their look? Do you base it on just what you like? Or do you base it on, uh, like, do you want it to look like yourself? Or what you want your, to represent yourself as? I don't know. You make it what you like, oh, look at that. I think that's what I went with, actually. Ooh, the eyebrow thing. Sign me up. One thing that I, uh... Don't forget, you also have to customize your salmon. Is that what that little fuck is? I don't like that guy. I, th I fucking hate him. I don't like that, uh... You can't choose your hair color, but... I guess that has to do with the... There's not much that can really done, be done about that. I'm basically just designing the same character I did before. I just don't remember what pants I chose. Ooh. It might have just been this. Yeah, that's fine. I, I don't like this. I don't like this thing. I'd go as far as to say that I hate him. I really would. Rip jeans, hell yeah. I don't even fucking care. Which, I mean... 
give him the pineapple thing. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, leave him behind. Oh, and it does. It, it has you do the tutorial. Before you hit the crater, we'll hit you the basics. Oh, I already don't like this at all. Can I change the... Do I have to play it like this? It's it's making me... What is... Uh, when are you going to teach me how to uh, hit the start button and turn off these motion controls? Smile. I have to play the tutorial with this? Where's the die button? Oh! Why do you sparkle like that? Did you pick something up? Oh! Cool, it's a nerf. I'm still... You gotta get the dual portal... You have to get the dual portal device. That's what he calls it, right? He's like, the dual portal device. Oh. Oh, okay. I was like, how do you fucking expect me to do that? Wait. Oh. I was... For some reason, I was trying to press, like, X. I was thinking about this earlier. I'm still freaking pissed that they're... they're they have, um, for the gun emoji, they just use a, like, a water gun. That's stupid. How am I supposed- how are people supposed to take my threat seriously? That- that came off really- How are people supposed- like, how are people supposed to know that I'm actually angry if I just send them a- Like, a picture of a water gun? That's what I meant. It came off as really fucked up, but that's what I meant. If you send somebody, if you send me an emoji of a water gun, I, like, I can't even blame the people who don't take me seriously when I do that. Because I don't take them seriously if I see a water gun on, like, my, my Apple phone. It's that gif of, of, of Hank Hill shooting himself with a hose. That's fair. I do think I like, uh, I do like how the squid looks better in this form, but... Could you get this hairstyle as a squid? Also, I'll be honest with you. If I had, if I owned Splatoon 2, I would not be able to justify to myself buying this game. The only reason that I could justify buying it. Oh, the hairstyles are locked to species. Yeah, I think I care more about the hairstyle than the form that I'm only going to be, be seeing if I pay too close attention. Yo, this is like those Spider-Man uh, video game cutscenes. Yeah, I would not buy this if I had two. Just because I it seems like it has basically the same features with just like added a few added guns and stuff that they could have easily put in the other game. And I mean, obviously there's this. I'm gonna say, uh, only Nintendo fans. I'm not, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. Cause there's like a bunch of Call of Duty games that are basically the same thing. There's like sports games are all the same, essentially, but they still, people still buy that shit over and over. Ripping the Splatlands, rear deep cut, anarchy splat cut. I couldn't read that. Why are you so fast talking? Hey, here we go. You lip sync, we drip ink. What the f Take that back. That's fucking gross. Hey, hey, hey Shiver uh, Fry and Big Man. Why does he have an x ray in front of him? And why, is, why does his insides look like that? We might have to take Big Man to the hospital. Unless that's where we are right now. Sony fans are paying $70. You're right. You're right. You didn't even. I didn't even have to read that entire sentence to so know. All I had to read was Sony fans. 
And I was like, yeah, yeah. Last of Us Part 1. And the worst part is I saw someone that I follow on here streaming it. And I was like, you really, you really bought that, huh? Breaking news, hot, hot off the press. I Did I already read that? Do people read? When they stream this, do they read this? It's going by kind of fast, unless I'm the one who picks how fast it goes. The great zap fish is gone. It basically powers the whole city. Uh, we need it back soon, or it's lights out. Time to conserve. Uh, turn off lights and... Okay. Hey, it's 32 degrees Celsius. And it is not cool. Call us if you find the zap... It's just gonna be out there somewhere? Hey, let's get out of here. From Slatsville, that's our app. Catch you later. Okay. Who's... Alright. Who am I beating the shit out of first? This is the place to see and be seen. Hottest... If you want to make it in this town, you gotta be your freshest. Extremely f online battles. Okay. You want to start making waves and battles? Everyone around here will know your name. That's, I don't think that's actually true. Oh, that's a setup for the story mode. Wait, what? I I could have I could have I could have put that together. I kind of figured. Uh, you're new here, and I don't mean to al alarm you, but that dude is seriously scoping you from the sewer. Whatever, it's fishy, but we'll go back to it later. So where were we? All right, battles. Time to sink into the ink battle. If you want to get right to it, check out the lobby or follow that weirdo to the sewer up to you. Full splat ahead. Alright, turn this shit off. Effective immediately. Do I have any other clothes? No. Nope. Whoa! We must be on Team Ninja, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, motion. How do I sh shut this shit off immediately? Better the ink in the sink than to sink in the ink. Did you just say that, or is that a thing that's been said already? <laughs> to ink in the sink. <laughs> that's, that's sus. It's actually sus. Can I buy anything? Oh, I have nothing. I like this place. This is my area. Here, if any of you ever go in this area, just imagine that I'm standing here and you can just pretend roleplay with me. I'm like, I'm like, I'm too cool to even look at anyone. I'm like this. I'm like, kind of have a side eye on you, but I'm just like, eh. I have no swag yet. Is this one of the shops? Are they going to kick me out because I'm not cool enough? Am I not cool enough? Yo, welcome to not, uh, coach, not coacher. Oh, I get it. Do I? Oh, no. You're all the way offline. Um, I think you have to go to the lobby, uh, to connect to the internet. Do I really? Do I? Is that a thing? You need to hit level four to shop. Well, what if I hit Andrea, Andrea instead? Is that an option? I can't, I can't fight these suckers here. Mario. Guys. This is, I found actual Mario in this game. I can't believe, I, I'm a huge fan, dude. Look, I even practiced the jump. Well, that wasn't it, but it was a pretty high jump. You gotta admit, right? I wanted to kick his aloe vera water. Okay, I'm gonna do the story mode. Did you know it's really easy to mod your 3DS? How do I- oh. How do I do this? There we go. Let's freaking do this. Can't believe I embarrassed myself in front of Mario like that.
Okay. The the, the oct oct the octarians are coming. Oh, all right. Again, okay. Oh uh, hi. Did we do this once before? The old noggin ain't what it used to be. Anyhow, the name's Cuttlefish, uh, senior advisor to the new Squidbeak Splatoon. At your service. I'm giving him the lamest voice. That look in your eye. It's the look I've been looking for. The great zapfish that powers Splatsville has been uh, squidnapped. <laughs> oh, the fucking auto modding. Auto mod, stop not letting us say race war. Playing this game story mode as an octoling is hilarious. You get con, you get conscripted into a race war against your own race. Oh my god. It's the Octarians again. You bet your bottom sand dollar on it. See, the zap, the great sapfish has been, has gone missing before, twice in fact, and those octo jerks were behind it both times. Does he not know that he's talking to a, to an octo rock? I've been keeping an eye on him, even though I'm technically retired. And with eyes like these, there ain't much that escapes me. But they still made off with the great sapfish. And now we've got to get it back, right? <laughs> Whatever you say, old man. So, uh... That was a job offer, kid. Uh, the pay is zero, but you might just save the world. You're in, right? Right? Of course you are. Starting today, you you are Agent 3 of the new Squidbeak Split... Alright, who is 1 and 2? Who is one and two, and why have you left me with, with the third number? This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the Octarians. Ah, uh, there's such a thing as something gr gr growing in the wash. It's a little baggy on you. Honey, I don't remember ever washing it. Bah, that last Agent 3 was clean as a catfish. Oh, so this is a... Okay. His little pixely eyes. Already got another agent there with you, huh? Well, I'm fresh out of hero suits, unfortunately. Ah, but it's a salty little scamp, ain't it? It'll do fine. What can he do? Is he gonna do shit? Oh my god. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Let's go get those octo jerks. I'm counting on you, bucko. Alright, let's look for a way in, into the octarian base. Fuck you. It's pretty fucking cool. Alright, I might have us underestimated this game. The first game, Heroes Agent 3. And there's an Agent 4 in the second game. And the DLC had Agent 8 because they were an octopus. Ooh, haha. I get it. Who's Agent 1, though? Has that been revealed yet? Ow. I got turned into a funny! Fuck. I'm not listening to you, dude. I'm doing my own thing. I'll meet one and two. Uh, but were they in the previous games already? Oh, they were in the previous games? Okay, now that is one pile of fuzzy ooze. Big old pubble. pubble. Oh, okay. Worry about the later, what? But I'm here, dude. Have you forgotten? Can I not actually do it? Well, can I, uh... <laughs> what is this? What a... Oh, alright. You got turned into one of those warm fuzzies school used to demonstrate the importance of being nice. Send me a photo of what you're talking about. Send me a photo of what you're talking about, because I don't know what you're... The importance of being nice. Here we go, it's the real deal, Agent 3. Oh, no, I have to... I don't think I necessarily have to be doing this all. Am I infiltrating? 
Am I, if I have a basic understanding of this game, do I have to read what he's saying to me? Or right, right, I mean specifically right now. Here, I'm gonna also open my Discord to see if you, uh... Yeah, you sent me a picture. Warm fuzzies. Can you... Alright, hold on. You don't mind if I, if I share this with the class, do you? Why you why why? Show it? Okay. Just a, just a second, I gotta pull it up. Cause I mean, I also, I have like a question to go along with this. It's fucking Nickelodeon ass music. This is, this is like, this is actual like Rugrats music. There's so, why is it so tiny here? How do you do plus? Here, I'll, I'll un I'll un full screen it. I accidentally I accidentally full screen OBS. Have you seen these before? Hold on. This is gonna sound massively sus right now. Okay, this is the Dalai Lama singing. It's gonna sound massively sus, but. I remember the f the feet for some reason. I wonder if, as a child, or whenever they use this, yeah, that's that is Dalai Lama, 100%. Did I just think that the most unique part of their design was like the f the feet of them? That's like uniquely made for them. The rest of the parts are like other things, but the feet are like made just for them. Well, how do they use this to teach? being nice I don't understand do you did they do that to you do you remember exactly what they said about it cuz I, I only remember the feet I only remember the feet Do I have to break, like, all the balloons? He probably explained that. Buckle up. I don't have to break- what, am, what is my objective, then? Are these hostages that I'm blowing up? Oh, I just have to reach the end, that's it? A splat pad? Oh, look at that! Hold on! Technology much? So what do these do? These just activate my superpower? Dude, that's like a freaking... Uh, that's like a, a Saints Row su superpower. How do I get up there? Do I need to get up there? I don't need- I don't need to. Why do I want- I want to. Does it make sense that I want to be up there? You can see why I would look at that and want to be up there, right? Can I make this jump? Oh, I guess I don't really need to, but I did because I'm freaking cool. How's that? <laughs> In my head, all I can see is the, the dude singing this. Holy fuck. Some armor. 
Why is it? Oh. Why is this not like a cool battle helmet? It's just like a ba it's like a bicycle helmet. I do fully appreciate the burps that they add in the songs. Extremely tasteful and amazing. What? Oh, cutscene, I guess. <gasps> Whoa, why is he vibrating? Octo Trooper ahead. It's a real live enemy. Get ready to splat it. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. Dude's for real. That was splat-tastic. Hold on, nobody's ever said that to me before. That's very, that's extremely meaningful, thank you. I think I'm gonna remember this moment for a while. Bianca gulp moment. <laughs> it's a zap fish. Oh, the end of the level is a zap fish? Look at how fucking- why am I that serious about it? Why do I have to make that badass of a face? Why can't I make like a f goofy Mario face? Yahoo! <laughs> Battle down Agent 3. Uh, you remind me of a young cuttlefish. Heroically saving the day. Anyway, good news is you got a zapfish. They're a source of energy on their own. But the better news is that the great zapfish may be up ahead. Octarians in the crater? Yikes! Alright, that song kind of fucks. Do I have to go in there again? Is that what he said? Is this bad? Did I do a bad? I know I need the zap fish to power the city, but do I need... Damn it. I know I need them to power the city, but I thought we just needed the great uh, one. Is there a way to exit this? Oh, there is. I was about to just speed run the entire level. I don't have to beat that again, do I? What's this? That fuzzy ooze is way overgrown and blocking our path. Confirmed. Well, then what do you, what do I do? Oh, all right. Oh. Throw small fry. Did you just eat that shit? I thought it was about to make a Zelda victory noise. Look at that. It gobbled up the ooze like it was nothing. That little monster has quite the appetite. Anyway, I cleared the path. Uh, It cleared the path for you. Go on. Okay. What, that thing? Oh, I see. I understand it. No. What is this? I got a decoration! That's amazing. That looked not really that great, but still. Ooh, look! Let's fucking go. Okay. Do all the levels just have, like, this weird... Fucking SpongeBob uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Dream World background. Oh, 
Time to squid after it. Um, okay. Doctarians live in spon in the SpongeBob dream. Oh, sorry, I didn't jump through the onion ring. I don't have to be in this form the whole time, do I? Oh, what does this one leave? Oh, I thought that was going to be a little bit better. Nice. I thought there was more down there. I was like, that's not good game design. Oh, I'm, look, I'm being stealthy. I'm sneaking. They have no idea. They're none the wiser of my presence. Ooh, I have to jump this on my own. Oh, shit. Oh. No, I meant to do that. I just thought it would look extra cool, you know? Fuck. I, I actually jumped through that by mistake the first time. I didn't know I triggered the onion ring. My, my baby brain needs the onion rings to guide me. Just jump earlier than you think you need to. So how many of these levels are there? Is that considered spoilers? That seems like a shortcut. Yeah, this is a shortcut, but I want to collect all these things. Ooh. There might not even be any this way, will there? No. That just loops around. Okay. Ah! So I guess I'm playing the straight man in this one, aren't I? I guess this is what I asked for when I voted straight man. Nicely done, Agent 3. But did, this, did those Octarians look different? They used to be a little more smooth, if memory serves. Bianca straight moments. That's like the only, those are the only two that when I voted straight man and when I was the straight man there. Hey, I ain't one to judge uh, a deadly tentacle creature by its cover. More power to him. Uh, but not really. Anyhow, as long as you're sporting that hero suit, you'd stand up to any Octarian, bearded or not. Did you even read that? Read the label? Here, I'll do it for you. You're wearing the latest in apocalyptic survival fashion. His voice is getting worse by the moment. Avoid enemies and navigate the Splatlands in style with your own high-end visor sensor. It says sensor. Dry clean only sensor. Is that something that I've used yet? You gotta learn everything about your gear. That's another battle-tested rule of the battlefield. Okay. I swear it. Oh. Uh, huh. I, do, I meant to do that because I don't like him. That's what that was. That's me lashing out. Can I, can I unlock something down there? earlier and like screw myself over is it possible send that salmon to hell is there one down there i don't know if this is possible oh he just blasts right back up here Yeah, there's a safe place to land right here. Ah! 
Am I gonna have enough to to, to, to go to the next area? <gasps> yes, I am. Box is locked. Keys, please. I don't get it. You want to get what's inside that vault? You got to find a key. There it is. Grab the key and unlock the vault. Oh, is this like a secret system? Oh. Ink that thing I'm about. Oh. Well, do these... Those don't have anything in them. Oh, they just stole this... From Mario Odyssey. Didn't they do this before Mario Odyssey? What is that for? They did do that before Mario Odyssey. That's shameful. Oh, the Zapfish is right there. Octocopter. Oh shit, it sees me. I didn't think it would see me. Are they coming from somewhere? Oh fuck, I almost just fell. But you could tell that by looking. I didn't need to say that. I almost just fell, guys. In real life. Why am I here? Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, but now what? Oh. What if I do that? Wait, is that? Oh, that's small fry. Is that small fry in the multiplayer mode too? It's an octo pooper. Damn it, it's an octo pooper. What are we gonna do? We have no octo pooper solution. We're shit out of luck. Are you kidding me right now? Let me up there. Okay. Is that even what I was supposed to do there? Is that that wasn't how I was supposed to go back there, right? How do I get up there? I might. I might. You could be wrong. I kind of want to try to break the game now to prove him wrong. Is there glitch? Does anyone know any speedrunning glitches for me to get up there? I can probably. Can I jump up? it from that one um that was my idea don't take credit for it maybe look at that I'm like not dumb I figured out the little puzzle Fucking gotcha. How am I doing for a beginner? Am I doing well? You're making me proud. 
Now, I don't want to ruffle your tentacles any further than they've already been ruff uh, ruffled, but those fuzzy octarians are freaking me out. I think we ought to consider calling some backup. Let me just fire up the old communicator. Check, check. This is Cuttlefish over. Do you copy? Agent 2 here over. Wait, Gramps, is that you? Where are you? Agent 1. This is Agent 2. Gramps has wandered off again. Over. What, he went to, like, another freaking region or something? If you throw small fry at the zapfish, you can pop the light instantly? Oh. Well, I mean, what's the difference? That could maybe be a speedrunning thing, I guess. What are we waiting for, Agent 2? Let's go collect him. Coll Roger that. Stay fresh. Did they just hang up on me? They're gonna just show up? Agents these days, am I right? So impatient. Yeah, uh, cuddle, I found you. Agnabbit, this whole thing is busted. Oh well. Takes like four less seconds. If It's kind of satisfying popping it with the thing, though. With, like, the shooting it. Come on, let's go. What is this like doing? Is this just a little shortcut? Oh, no, that's the only way back up, I guess. I probably should have considered that before uh, just jumping down. No, I'm a funny. I can't do that from here. Oh, look. I found the thing. A pack of cards. You can pick up your cards. Fuck yeah. Do I get to actually open it? Do I get to actually open it? Or... Damn it. Don't tell me I have to be like... I can't do this shit. I was getting a little nervous there. I can now encourage children to gamble. What are they? Can we stop them? That's what Pokemon cards do. What was... Oh, there's a helmet. I like that their technology is setting me up uh, protection against them. They seem to be very smart. Oh. Why do I need a splashdown? I don't think I do. Oh, this is where I want to use it. What do you mean, be careful? You're the one who just told me I have this. Oh, look at this. Checkpoint. Did I have to ink that? Also, if you mash B while swimming up walls, you can climb them faster. Okay. I see myself making a mistake by doing that. I can test it. Would you mash it? Oh, okay. Oh shit, I didn't even know you were right there. I missed. Oh, you got the box though. Thanks, dude. I just feel like with all of their character designs, all of their all of their W's in character designs and even the characters that don't look the best are still like fine. 
I think that small fry could have had a cuter design. Where am I? Uh, oh. Here we go. Fuck. You ready? You ready? I just did my ultimate. Hell yeah. I didn't miss anything, right? Okay, let me try this. I missed. Fuck you for missing. He's a sa salmonid? He's supposed to signify the apocalypse? Well, why can't he be cuter? What does him being a salmonid have to do with him being cute or not? You're on a roll. Nicely done, Agent 3. That ought to be the last kettle, but do you see anything else that looks fishy around here? No. Only everything. 1,000. 1,000! Wow. Okay. Why can't I change my hair color in this area? Can I? I finally, oh, this is, De this is Delhi Lama. My Octarian troops have gone missing. And I know you're behind it. There he blows. It's Dr. It's Dr. It's Dr. Octavius. <laughs> Up to your old tricks, eh? Give the great Zapfish back. Agent 3, the sturdy DJ, is the headliner of the entire Octarian army. Take him out. Quit spewing nonsense and listen up. I'm about to drop the, my latest hit. Right on your smug little face. Do I have to actually fight him right now? Can I splat this? You can't splat sand. That's what I always say. I always tell my friends that you can't splat sand, alright? So don't, don't let me catch you trying. Am I supposed to be, like, trying shit? Oh. Why do I feel like they've used this already in a fight with him? This is too familiar. I feel like... Has he not done this already? Why are you telling me to reset camera? Come back here. A drill... Dodge? I don't know, guys. I think this game might be a little bit easy. I don't know. Get freaking splatted, dude. Get freaking inked. I think my beats suck, eh? Uh... Oh no. Shit, that's my one weakness. Oh. Wait, I was. Oh shit, I was starting to look at what you were saying. The game's still easy, I promise. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, why does why is it telling me to center my
Fuck. Oh, s throw small fry in the back. Oh, shit. I thought that was the where... Alright, I thought that that little thing around it was to signify the area that I could only stand in. Get fucked up. I hope that thing has a blow feature. It, I don't think it does, actually. It doesn't appear to. Oh, okay. I That's convenient then. Can I actually not change my ink color in this? I have to pee. Is it, okay. You think by this, by the third game, you think by the third game they would have been like, oh, people will love it if you be, if you are able to pick your own ink color, but, I don't know, guess not. Oh, shit! I see what it I see what's talking about now. Where's my health? Oops. Wait, what is this? Um is that like my uh Olimar way of, of calling calling him back? Is the ink just my health? Oh. That's kind of fucking dumb. Finish him off. Easy. Absolutely freaking easy. Every time. So sad. What if, what if after that explosion, just a bunch of bits of him came out? Would that be absolutely livid or what? No fair, your gear is way too strong. You put on a weak show, Octavio. Uh... Did I pronounce Oct Octavio? Octavio? Yeah, I guess that. You're <laughs> fried octopus. Your set list is getting old. Or maybe it's just you. Seriously, that was too easy. It's like you aren't even using the great zapfish's power. Mute fool. I didn't steal a zapfish this time. What? You didn't? But if it, it wasn't you, then... <gasps> oh... Fuzzy ooze. Help me. No, my clothes. Oh, fuck, now I'm gonna be naked down there. I can't stream this anymore. That's indecent. It's their doing? They're behind it all? It was all a publicity stunt?
I get Metroided after that? Wait, I actually had gear. I thought he just gave me a gun. What did that other shit even do? I like to think that she's looking at that. I don't know what any of the stuff that I got. There's this like a skill tree coming up. Don't tell me to reset my freaking camera. Can you turn that off? Hello. Hey. Oh. Is that the protagonist from the first game? Over here! Ooh, I'm so glad you're alright. It comes up constantly when you look down. God damn it. You're Agent 3, right? Uh, Gramps fully enlisted you and your small fry? Yeah, I knew it. I see the look in your eyes that he's always looking for. Well, it's nice to meet you. I guess we should introduce ourselves. I'm Agent 1 of the new uh, Squid Beak Splatoon. Hey, I'm Agent 2. That's Splatoon's 1's uh, protagonist. How come they don't have orange hair and, and uh, you know, look like the... You know what I'm talking about? Is that not what you looked like in the in the first game uh, story? Was you weren't the like box art one? Come on, Agent Two, get pumped! Anyway, uh, one last crew member to introduce. This is our captain. This is our captain speaking. We're the new new Squid Squidbeak uh, Splatoon. Uh huh. Anyway, it looks like you and Gramps got separated in that fall. This place is huge and it's f filled with that horrible fuzzy ooze stuff. And now we have to find Gramps before he, like, tastes it or something. Even in one, you had the yellow hair constantly. Oh my god. What about two? Did they do that in two as well? Oh, you make it sound like it's not gonna be fun. But seriously, please help us look for Gramps. So, uh, oh, they're in, probably just too excited looking for someone else's grandpa to speak. So Gramps reeled in a, a new Agent 3, glad to have you. I'll be honest, I 1000% Splatoon 2 twice and you hardly remember, wow. That one seems to have the best, like, Splatfests and and like character design and stuff we've never been here before either but there's but here's the tour anyway <laughs> what we think this place is called alterna who knew it was beneath the crater this whole time we count six different islands so far what should we call them sites or something uh, are you even gonna mention the humongous rocket over there look at that Holy shit, who built that? Way to steal my thunder. Anyway, we put a tracking device on Gramps, as one does. But now we're getting a strong signal from three different areas, as one does. If you if you say a sentence that has to be followed up with as one does, I think you are saying the right sentence. Agent 3, your mission is to check all three of those places out. We upgraded your map a little bit. Uh, tell us how much you love it. Oh, I love it. Now it tracks the places you've already visited and lights up when you're near anything interesting. That sounds terrible. Just fill the whole thing out for me. Like, w when I'm nearby or buried treasure, I guess? We're here to look for Gramps, not treasure. And I hardly think Agent 3 needs a Cali tracker anyway. Wait, Agent 3 is totally out of power eggs. Did you lose them all in the fall? Yikes, your hero suit is all messed up too. 
Actually, it flew off my body. You wouldn't believe me. That's like some anime shit. Just their clothes like flying off their body when they're in like a fight or if they're f falling from someplace. Oh, don't be dramatic. I mean, sure, Agent 3 will have to collect power eggs and upgrade them from scratch. Hmm. I guess an explanation would help. The second time he just got lost in the subway? Wait, listen. Grimms has been kidnapped twice before now. <laughs> them using tracking device makes sense. What? <laughs> So he's like the damsel in distress. First, they'll need uh, Sardinium to unlock access to different types of upgrades. Then they can spend upgrade points to do the actual upgrading. But there's got to be some Sardinium uh, down here in Alterna, right? If anyone can find it, it's Agent 3. You don't know me. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait, did you tell Agent 3 how to actually get upgrade points? No, I'm on it. Agent 3, just ink lots of stuff and find items. I guess it isn't rocket science, which is a shame because it seems like we might need some rocket science. Never mind that for now. I'm getting a strong gramps like signal from the next site over. Go check it out. Get absolutely fucking destroyed. Freaking nerds. Oh, this just lets you see. Okay. This just lets you see. I understand. Get to know Alterna, your only choice. Let's freaking go. Do you hear something? Activated. System check. Okay. Authentication. All systems. Nominal. Commencing biometric scan. Scan complete. <laughs> no matches found. Commencing uh, registration sequence. Beep beep. Okay. Good day. My name is Orca. Is this Flood? I'm what you might call a navigation system for Alterna citizens. Whoa, where's that voice coming from? Welcome to Al Alterna citizen. Please enter your identification to proceed. Uh, it's like setting up a f phone for the first time. I guess just follow the instructions, Agent 3. Processing. Ding! Your name has been accepted. Thank you for registering, Agent 3. Cool, looks like it's official, Agent 3. I'm not doing freaking chill. <sighs> do you want me to do a chills voice for it? Because I can try to do that. My circuits are designed to measure your intellectual and physical prowess, as demonstrated by your ability to complete missions throughout Alterna. Is that that's that's a chills voice? In each mission, you must reach a goal mechanism or complete an objective. I'm not going to absorb this information. Reading it in the chill's voice. <laughs> this is like just acting without thinking about what I'm actually saying. Extraordinary citizens will complete many missions and receive many power eggs. You can expect a substantial power egg payday in particular for this first mission. May your enthusiasm result in success, citizen. Is all of that going to be on the test? Because all I really heard was power eggs. Yeah. You know what? They're with me at least, so I, I can't really... Can't really complain about my chills voice then. That seems like the important part. Uh, we'll need plenty of those if we're going to find Gramps. One last thing. As you complete missions and become an ever more exceptional citizen... You will naturally gain increased access to the Alterna Log. Do not attempt to share the Alterna Log without permission. Please handle the information with care, and please consider this a threat. <laughs> have, a, have a nice day. 
Alternal log, huh? Well, something's been added to your menu. I'm gonna peek. Ah, uh, but I won't. I guess we all we can do for now is collect power eggs and work on removing that fuzzy ooze. I mean, all you can do, Agent 3. Why can't you guys do shit? Equipment initializing. Please select a weapon for this mission. What? What is fucking happening? A loadout selected... F Please... Do I only have one? Why is it giving me an option? I only have one. The mission will begin as soon as you pass through that gate. If power eggs are required, you will be given an opportunity to make your payment before entering. Initialization complete. Data harvesting and an analysis <laughs> commencing. They can't do actual agent work. They're too busy being idols. They're not doing shit. They're trapped down here too, aren't they? Best of luck, Agent 3. So that's it then. Great. Come on, Agent 3. Let's get moving. Oh, I'm splatting this entire fucking room. Oh, you, you got that fucking right... Oh, I'm into- what is happening? What am I supposed to be reading right now? Oh, okay. What, can I not go back? Fuck. Oh! I didn't know whether to read the stuff in the middle of the screen or the bottom. <laughs> oh god, I like for two minutes and you gave Orca the chills voice. Yeah, that was Zen. That was Zen. Cause I was doing like a robot like flood voice and every time I do like a, a voice like that I guess it sounds like chills so it makes me want to pull out my actual chills impression so I don't look like an idiot doing like a non chills voice can I kill that or am I just fighting nothing oh Why do I look so happy? Why do I look so happy? <laughs> yeah, this is fun. I must say, I'm enjoying myself. Ooh. That's fucking awesome. Hold on. Clean that a little bit slower. I was just kind of there. That's the first key. Keep going. I wasn't paying attention. What? How many did they say I needed? What is this? This is too open worldish for me. I'm getting, I'm getting uh, intimidated by the amount of places that I'm able to go. Can I... That's... Uh, I was doing that. You didn't have to tell me to do that. I was already doing it. Oh, I didn't... Shit. You know what? We'll, we'll come back if we need to. It's freaking go. What is this thing? How many of these weird like stage optic obstacle things or like stage uh, interacting things are new to this game? Oh, can't wait to suck at this. Yep. It's only one way. Fuck that. can open it up and unleash what's inside. A Trizuka? Oh shit.
and just pick it up again. Why am I missing them? Oh, I hit them. Okay. So far, just that ink wheel. I'm sucking at this part for no reason. Oops. So just this thing you meant? That's weird that that's the that's the thing that I asked about it for. It just seemed kind of funky. How do I have intuition that good? You'd almost think that I have played these games before. If you can keep this up, we'll have the intern I'll turn a map in no time. What's that? Oh. Mission complete! You can ride those kinds of rails in kid form, by the way. Oh, you can, you don't, okay. You don't have to do like an Mario Odyssey thing and like switch forms. How many of these levels are there? Probably like 50. Okay. Shut up. Visit a sparkling city of chaos. The hottest place in the Splatlands. Inner Key Avenue. Walk it, feel it, live it. Special collection. Walk the Splatville walk. Okay. Oh, and you don't have to do them in order? Oh, it just has a required amount in order to go to it. I don't know if I like that. E-leader? What? What is the difference? I don't know this one. It says try it, so. I'll do like one or two more because it is getting kind of late. Oh man, I just suck, I think. Oh, I have to, oh. I guess I should have understood the mi There's just computer shit up there. I don't think I like, uh... What? How many shots do I get? I'm confused by the objective, please explain. Do I have time? Am I timed? I have one shot, but I've been shooting like three times. Starting over and getting the scope. Uh, well, I mean, I just thought that it shot at the end of... I thought that... 
I fully charge it and then it just shoots it automatically. That's what I thought. That's why I was confused there and, and fucking up. So that was easy. Is this like an actual level? Wait, Splat Brella? Burst Bomb. There's 65 stages, not counting the ones in the crater. I want to try this. I know it's a little unconventional, but I want to try it, you know? Life's all about trying new things. I'm not sure if you knew this. There's a ton of them. I wish I knew what you said. Careful, they'll charge if you come too close. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. This is kind of fucking cool. I like shotguns. Oh, with a shield. How do I get that back? Does it? Oh, all right. <laughs> Why is it this color? Was it always this color? Was my gear like yellow before? Uh, what if I want to get ambushed, actually? How do you shoot this out? How did I shoot that out before? No, oh, right. That takes a while. Oh, fuck. Why did I not realize what I was wearing now? I'm like wearing a ripped shirt. I guess I wasn't really looking. Oh, you need 20% of your ink to do it. I don't know if that's what was doing it, but... I think it just takes a little bit longer than I would have expected it to. Am I just wearing socks? Oh, I went around the whole thing. What is that? Ooh, okay. Gorillas are super unconventional, especially when it comes to the shields. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I just thought it would, it, it seemed like an interesting thing to try. And I was right, it is pretty interesting to try. It's an interesting thing to sh to try. Did the first did the first Splatoon game? Oh, it is a different color now. Oh no, never mind, it's still orange. Why was I In the f sorry, in the first game did the did the ink like drip like that? Hey. 
so when you I think when uh when you put it on the wall, next time I go to a wall, I'll try to see if I can show you it. I don't know if you might have not even noticed it while playing this one. I don't know why I go into squid form before going there. Oh, that goes hard. Hold on, though. That goes kind of hard. I actually own the first one. And I guess it still has online. I haven't played it. I just looked it up out of curiosity. And apparently it still has online. Oh, I have to pick it up. Alright, I will do... What is this? That's too fucking much. I don't want to do that. Alright, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more for the night. Also, how does the Splatfest work? Do I need to update for that, or...? Um... Oh, this looks like a different one. Does it just- it just has a different style? No, this functions- this functions a little differently, it seems. This is like quicker. Uh oh. Handy when they jump out like that. Keep your eyes peeled for more in the next area. It's continuous fire, but the shields are fragile. I don't know if I read that out loud, but I, I understood it when I read it. Zuka again. I'm just wasting this shit for real. That's when I honestly should have used it. That's the first time they got me. Are they gonna... Wait, so what is your health... What is happening to me right now? If you get hit twice... Is that what it is? If you get hit twice, then you're uh, done for. Let's get these. I don't need to use it on these guys. There we go.
I don't know why I, I feel the need to do that. That's what you got to do in like a normal match, right? You have to like, you have to be more assertive. You have to be more aggressive, right? If you're hit twice, uh, you get that flashing state. Oh, okay. And then you can recover from that. Oh, that was just my armor that broke. Okay. Fuck yeah. She's so fucking serious all the time. She's actually just like serious as fuck. Okay, can I go? TV to handheld mode. What's the difference? Oh, it's just the settings, okay. I thought this was asking me if I wanted to change the mode that I'm currently in. I'm like, yeah, yeah. How do you go back to like uh, the the you know? Am I trapped here forever? I'm trapped here until I until I beat it. Back to Splatsville, and it it auto saves that I assume, right? Because we're in 2022. Yep. So do I have to attend a match in order to, uh... <laughs> Why did I look at that character for so long? Do I, do I have to do a match? No, I am on 1.1.1. I promise I am. Is this gonna like instantly force me into a match? Multiplayer maps and modes have been act updated. Activated. What do you mean up? I haven't even played this game yet. These have been updated since the last time you played, even though this is your first time playing. Oh, okay. Listen up, it's going down. I'm repping the Splatlands for Deep Cut. Anarchy Splat Blast. They say that too freaking fast. They, they speak too fast amongst themselves. Splatfest is now on. Okay. So I'm aware of this. And uh, I feel like it would make a little more sense. I don't know. Because my, my second half of this stream will probably be like next week at some point. So maybe I could, I should just like vote on this now. So it would make sense, like, this ends this weekend, right?
Was this the current results? That's the current results? Sunday at 8. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't think I wanna stream. Um. So that. Like, before. You know. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I don't wanna stream before this ends again. I don't fucking know what those are the results. I'll be honest. They were the same at 11 p.m. Which team are you on? So it's what you would bring on a deserted island. Um, oh, so this is just the same place, but it looks sexy as fuck. I was gonna say that before I saw Fry. She's my favorite of the three, I think, though. I hate this individual. I don't like how they're dancing. I don't like how they look. <laughs> Just tried to freaking spray that. It's a human. Disgusting. Choose a team. This seems like a large... I don't know if I'll be able to do this for each one. Um, but I guess this is going to reveal my answer for when we get to that one. Um, I say gear... Yeah, gear. I I hope gear wins cuz everyone every sensible person I know is choosing gear. And here here's why. If you're curious as to why we're choosing gear, gear can get you more food and it can you can create fun with it. So this is effectively has you covered on all accounts and it protects you um, for however long you're on the island. It's just smart. Enjoy your Splatfest tea, but you gotta return it after the fest. Sorry. Sorry. Can I put it on right now? I'm wearing it! Someone left one of these unsquished? <laughs> Oops. Oh, I have to wear the tee. Welcome that- how come that guy wasn't wearing it? Your eyes look insane. This is just fun to look at. This triggers my my like baby brain just looking at these neon lights. That's why I wanted to live in New York when I was younger. Just to see neon lights. That's basically long and short of it. Let's fucking go. How do can I dance? How do you dance? How do I dance? Can I dance in this? <laughs> Can I fucking dance? What's that? Oh, it's the manga. Look at that. Reference. I'm the first one to find this. Reference, reference, reference. And go, white girl, go. Nobody's ever seen that until until I just saw it now. Oh, look at the little guy. See, why can I have why can I have a little uh, jellyfish friend? I want to go in there.
How come they can dance and I don't know how to do it right now? That's what I'm angry about. <laughs> Playable jellyfish? I, what upsets me about this is I'm dancing, I'm dancing in someone else's game right now, but I can't dance in my own game. Does that seem fair to you? Oh, I could have looked at the manga like that. <gasps> Team gear, dude, Amy fucking Rose. That's right. Your hair looks so dumb when you dance, dude. Oppression of the highest caliber. Legit, though. I'm very pixely. I don't know if they expected me to, to do that. It's 12? That says issue 12. Why is the... T Why is that printed upside down? They really weren't expecting me to look at this. Alright, I guess this is it then. This is a fun place to end it off at. Thanks for, uh, thanks for showing up. I'll have to uh, make a, another big deal of my second half of the stream because th this was really fun. And I'm glad a bunch of you were able to show up. Maybe we could do it next Friday. The second half of this stream. I might... I will be playing this. Like, if any of you guys want to play this with me off stream, I totally am up for that. Um, and I might stream it again. I don't know. Before then. But I'm definitely going to be streaming it next Friday. Unless something like really crazy comes up, like there's a freaking ex nuclear explosion in my area, then you sh then don't expect the stream. But <laughs> that's needless to say, I think. Um, you guys have a good night, and you know what? Think, think about, think about what your answers to the to the rest of the Splatfest would be. We covered the first like 60. And I'd love to hear even more thoughts if you're able to gather them. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.